Welcome to Fantasy Audiobook, The Dragon Slaying Samurai in the Pirate World. Chapter 51. Puff, puff, it was accompanied by weird footsteps that made people extremely uncomfortable. After recovering his severed limb and removing the rudder from his head, the high-spirited golden lion Shaki and his deputy doctor Indigo came to the hall. The two famous swords Sakura Ten and Mukuru, which were originally fixed to the legs and had long been fused with their flesh and blood, were resheathed and hung on the waist at some point. Blackbeard, Rob Lucci, Capone Beige, Hawkins and others couldn't help but stare at it. Facing this golden lion, which was once famous in the sea, although it is old, but has now restored its fangs and sharp teeth, I instantly felt a lot of pressure. How? Put away the black box. Ryoma sat on the main seat, looked at him and asked with a slight smile, are you still getting used to the new limbs? Inside that black box is the heart of golden lion Shiki. This is the unique ability of Op Op Fruit. It can directly take out the opponent's heart without harming the opponent's life, and can even truly separate the opponent's heart from the main body. This is why Ryoma is willing to cure Golden Lion Shiki and even promises to restore his youth. With this heart in hand, even if Golden Lion Shiki regains his peak strength and is unwilling to be inferior to others, he will not be able to fly out of his palm. As for whether he is worried about that kid from Trafalgar Law tricking him, is his observation hockey, who has already cultivated to ultimate, just a decoration. But as he expected, Trafalgar Law was very honest and didn't play any tricks. Otherwise Ryoma wouldn't mind letting Op Op Fruit change its owner. Gia ha ha ha, my body has relaxed several times. It is worthy of the legendary Op Op Fruit. Without the influence of the rudder, and with Luo Jian's treatment of the hidden wounds accumulated on his body, Golden Lion Shiki was relaxed and in high spirits. As if he looked much younger, he smiled at Luo and said, Thank you, Trafalgar Law, right. I will remember you. If he were not afraid of Ryoma's strength, he would definitely use any means to win such a talent under his command. Ryoma's wise eyes stared at the high-spirited Golden Lion Shiki, taking in the other person's thoughts without saying anything. It's a great honor for me to be remembered by such a big man like you. After bowing, Luo said with a smile. If Golden Lion Shiki knew that his heart had been stolen silently by him, I wonder if he would be so angry that he would want to chop him. Ryoma looked at Golden Lion Shiki and asked with a smile. You have been suppressed for so long, do you want to relax your muscles and bones? Gia ha ha ha, I am not so arrogant that I think that I am your opponent now. Golden Lion Shiki laughed boldly and admitted his current shortcomings. He obviously did not become overly inflated and unable to see the reality clearly just because he had just regained some strength. The man in front of him was sitting there casually, but he still put a terrible pressure on him, as if there were no flaws. Even though he is unwilling to be inferior to others, he will not be stupid enough to challenge the opponent directly and bring humiliation to himself without regaining the strength of his heyday. It doesn't matter, just stop there. Ryoma stood up, waved his hand, grabbed the chushui placed aside, and said, just in time, let me see how much strength you can exert now. He also wants to know how powerful the golden lion is now. About his next plan. Brush, no waiting for Golden Lion Shiki to respond. In a flash, he had already emerged from the skylight of Capone Bege's castle. Passing through the strange barrier at a speed visible to the naked eye, the whole person returned to normal size in an instant. Pa, pa, he stepped directly into the atmosphere and ran towards the shocking island group floating in the sky. Golden Lion Shiki flew out directly, following closely behind. After all, he did not want to explore the depths of this, dragon-slaying warrior, who was famous hundreds of years ago and was recognized as the world's greatest swordsman. Look at how big the current gap between the two is. And Blackbeard, Rob Lucci, Hawkins, et al. They all came out of Capone Bege's internal castle immediately, staring at the figure in the sky. I wish I could just fly up and watch the battle. Soon, the silver-white figure landed at the bottom, on the island filled with ferocious beasts. Kanglanglang, a dazzling blue light bloomed, and in Golden Lion Shiki's surprised eyes, the original black sword was transformed into the supreme sharp sword Akagami. Ryoma's momentum changed. Extremely fierce, the whole person is like an extremely sharp knife, which no one can take lightly. Golden Lion Shiki's eyes were dazzled. Is this the legendary supreme sharp sword Chu Shen? I didn't expect that black sword Chu Shui to be Chu God. 
No wonder no one can find it for so many years. Quote. Gia ha ha ha, it's been a long time since I had a real happy battle. Looking at the awe-inspiring figure in front of him, Golden Lion Shaki laughed boldly, and the blood in his body that had been dormant for a long time began to boil. Her lion-like blonde hair danced wildly, her eyes were blazing, and her aura was wild. The Sakura Ten and Mukuru on the waist are unsheathed, and they are full of fighting spirit. Bang! He stepped hard. The whole person ran out at an astonishing speed and rushed directly towards Ryoma. The newly attached lower limbs seemed to have grown on the body without any discomfort. Kai, Kai, the incomparably sharp Sakura Ten and Mokuru circled the high-level armament hockey that could not be seen clearly with the naked eye, cut open the atmosphere, and slashed at Ryoma from the air. In an instant, Ryoma's tall figure also moved. He held a dazzling blue blade in his hand. It seemed slow, but in fact it was as fast as lightning, and he slashed it out boldly. Kang, what is shocking is that there is no direct contact between the swords and the hands of the two. But the sonorous sound of gold and iron clashing was deafening. The extremely amazing high-level armament hockey collided in midair. Everything seems to be frozen at this moment. The next moment. Woo-hoo-hoo, -hoo, boom rumbling. The ground cracked and rocks sputtered. The violent air flow seemed to have turned into reality, ripples were constantly flowing there. It turned into an astonishing storm, sweeping in all directions, making it impossible for people to open their eyes. Crack, bang, in an instant, dark red lightning intertwined and danced. Two extremely violent conquerors hockey collided and fought against each other there. The sky suddenly changed color. The trees were cracked and the clouds were turbulent. Ah, ah, that's, fake, right. The sky is cracked. Gulu. It's too exaggerated. Is this a fight between monsters? Looking at the dark clouds that seemed to be cracking in the sky, squeezing in convection against each other, and the terrifying momentum on the floating sky island that was so oppressive that it made people breathless. Jewelry Bonnie, Monka Rouge, Magician Hawkins, Rob Lucci and others, as well as the warriors on Nine Snakes Island, could not help but open their mouths. Drenched in cold sweat, speechless. Shocking. Ha ha, look, what a coveted power. And Blackbeard's eyes were blazing, and his heart was filled with unspeakable longing. Unlike others, he had witnessed with his own eyes the shocking scene of the confrontation between Whitebeard in his prime and Roger who had not yet become the Pirate King. That would be even more amazing than it is now. It's not that Whitebeard or Roger are stronger than Ryoma. But at that time, both Whitebeard and Roger were at their peak of combat power. The two are evenly matched. The fight lasted three days and three nights without a winner. This is completely different from the golden lion who is now declining, his body is old, and he has to undergo surgery to remove the rudder and broken limbs that have tortured him for more than 20 years, and his strength has declined significantly. There's no way that Lord Ryoma could be serious. Boom, hoo, ho, thump, thump, floating on Sky Island. The beasts with ferocious auras were frightened. Before he could escape, his eyes turned white and he fell down one after another. Two terrifying waves, one large and one small, collided and confronted each other. But for a moment, Golden Lion Shiki's extremely strong conqueror's hockey, which seemed to have been suppressed for too long, was directly covered and overwhelmed by the unparalleled wave emanating from Ryoma. A golden figure retreated in embarrassment. Opposite, Ryoma's majestic figure stood proudly holding a sword. Make a decision, but in an instant. Gia ha ha ha, I haven't used a sword with both hands for a long time, and I'm still a little rusty. In the previous collision, Golden Lion Shaki, who was at a disadvantage, laughed indifferently. He directly used Lion Fruit's ability to fly backwards with a stern look, slash wave. The Sakura Ten in his hand was smashed out. A fiery slash struck straight at him. Kang, the dragon and horse's expression remained unchanged. The god of autumn swung his sword high and slashed out diagonally. A huge light blue slash directly overwhelmed Golden Lion Shiki's sword energy, and hit him with unabated force. I could see Golden Lion Shiki's fingers holding the sword barely moving. Rumble, the ground trembled suddenly, it seemed to be alive, spinning violently. An exaggeratedly large pillar, like a mountain, rose into the sky. Blocked in front, boom boom. Smoke and dust filled the air, and gravel sputtered. In an instant, Golden Lion Shiki's double sword struck out continuously. The atmosphere was directly cut open by Sakura Jukiku. 
Lion Majesty Thousand Slice Valley. Fiery slashes one after another tore apart the atmosphere. One after another, they blasted at the dragon and horse intensively, sealing off its blind spot. It felt like it was going to be cut into pieces, making people sweat and make their scalp numb. Boom boom boom. The earth trembled. The sky was filled with dust, making it difficult to see what was ahead. But Golden Lion Shiki's expression changed, and all of a sudden he felt that he was being stared at, and his hair stood up. Immediately relying on Lion Fruit's ability, he flew back to high altitude. Kai, the light blue light covered the light. It's so dazzling that it's hard to open your eyes. Wah, an extremely huge light blue slash, hundreds of meters long, struck through the air. In an instant, it turned into a flying dragon with fangs and claws. Extremely ferocious and murderous, the attack came in the blink of an eye. Kang, Golden Lion Shiki blocked with his sword. Being suppressed by the extremely heavy sword energy, he couldn't help but fly back, which was a bit difficult. Crossed Sakura Ten, wood withered, click, sound. Gritting his teeth, he lifted it up with all his strength. Boom, an extremely violent slash. Like a tornado, it rolled straight towards the sky. The originally turbulent clouds were blown out of a big hole. It was indescribably shocking. Lion Majesty. Earth coiling. Golden Lion Shaki shook his hand fiercely without taking a breath. Boom. Hu. Ho. The earth trembled and rumbled continuously. In the shocking and inexplicable gazes of Rob Lucci and others, one after another, huge and lifelike lion heads as huge as mountains were seen, blocking out the sky and the sun, and guarding them from all directions. With huge bloody mouths, they all crushed the dragons and horses. Are you going to do the same thing again? Facing the extremely ferocious and biting lion rock, Ryoma chuckled carelessly. The blue blade in his hand turned into an afterimage. A dazzling and captivating cold light flashed in midair. Suddenly he slashed out horizontally. Boom boom. One after another, the huge lion heads were split into two by the huge and fiery slash. Countless pieces of gravel fell to the ground with a roar. But the ground was still rolling and being crushed from all directions. In an instant, a closed valley was formed. The dragon and horse are to be buried inside. Kai, a cold light flashed. The valley was split open by terrifying slashes. The silver-white figure of Ryoma soared into the air. The extremely sharp gaze made people dare not look at him. Observation Haki, who was so tyrannical as to be the ultimate, directly locked onto the golden lion Shiki in midair, and a strange light seemed to flash in his eyes. That fierce and unstoppable energy. Shiki's hair stood on end and he felt a strong crisis. His pupils suddenly dilated, and the two swords in his hands violently slashed out, Lion Majesty Thousand Slice Valley. Kai, Kai, whoosh whoosh, an extremely fiery slash, sharp and eye-catching. One after another, dragons and horses poured into the air, with momentum-like sharp blades that could not stop climbing. It makes people feel chilly. Brush, in an instant. Ryoma's figure was submerged. Faintly, there was a terrifying cold light that disappeared in a flash. As fast as lightning, as fast as thunder. The tall silver figure suddenly appeared behind Golden Lion Shiki again. Unscathed, Shimotsuki flow swallow tail slash. Kang, the heart-wrenching sound of the knife being sheathed echoed. Golden Lion Shiki stood there frozen. On the neck, a strand of long golden hair fell off. Cold sweat soaked my back. It's not bad, but it's still a bit off. Ryoma's body fell to the ground, walking towards the outside of the island without any hurry. The current Golden Lion's strength has declined too much. Strictly speaking, he is even worse than the aging Pluton Rayleigh. However, considering the ability of Paramecia Lion Fruit, it will not be a problem to contain the highest combat power of naval headquarters in a short period of time. A calm voice echoed on the floating sky island, Golden Lion, if you want to witness a more exciting and broader world, put down your so-called ambitions and follow my footsteps honestly. Golden Lion Shiki stood there for a long time, staring deeply at the majestic figure going away. Gia ha ha ha, he is indeed the legendary monster that has conquered an era. I am convinced by that power that makes people awe and despair. Quote. He laughed until he cried. The same moves, the same results, the same elusive speed. He still couldn't stop it. Failed miserably again. The ending is no surprise. But the process shocked him greatly. With Ryoma's elusive sword drawing speed, 
his body functions are currently declining, and he relies on the ability of lion fruit to lie low and dormant. He has been at ease for too long, and his hands have not used a sword for too long. He cannot exert his peak strength, and it is not enough to block that sword. Strange. But what frightened Golden Lion Shaki was after removing the rudder. His own observation Haki, who had almost recovered and was not much worse than in his prime, was still unable to accurately predict the trajectory of Ryoma's weird and ultimate sword swing. Naval Headquarters The atmosphere before the war has enveloped Marineford. Every Marine's face has lost its usual relaxation and smile, and is full of serious, nervous, heavy, perseverance and other expressions. One troop transport ship after another continued to gather from all directions. A Marine captain with a fierce and powerful aura, under the command of the generals, boarded the port one after another. These Marine captains are all real elites drawn from various branches. Ordinary Marines can't stand up to those extremely ferocious and powerful New World pirates, and may even be frightened by their ferocious aura. Only these elite school captains who have experienced hundreds of battles can fight against those extremely vicious guys. At this time, in the Naval Headquarters building, in the conference hall on the highest floor. Admiral of Headquarters, Akainu, Sakazuki, Admiral of Headquarters, Aokiji, Kuzan, Suru Vice Admiral and others are all listed. In addition, they are all Vice Admirals of Naval Headquarters such as Doberman, Ghost Spider, and Huo Shaoshan. Everyone was sitting in the hall, all looking solemn and listening intently. The response formation is in accordance with the plan just made. Once receiving the order from the top, all generals must directly lead their marine personnel back into the bay. Once the siege wall is activated, it will be impossible to lower it. Marine Marshal Sengoku stood on the podium. Holding the baton, he pointed at the harbor location on the simple map of Marineford on the blackboard and spoke in a deep voice. Finally, he supported the desk in front of him with both hands and stared at every senior Marine general present with sharp eyes. No matter the cost, we must not let the Whitebeard pirates board the bay. But tactics are just tactics after all. The situation on the battlefield changes rapidly. We must be fully prepared and prepare for the worst, Sengoku said in a sonorous voice, based on the special identity of Fire Fist, Ace, Apart from the Whitebeard Pirates, we may also face the Red Hair Pirates, or even the Roger Pirates, which has been secretly disbanded and disappeared for more than 20 years. Because, according to Cypher Pole's information, Pluton, Silver Rayleigh, who used to live in seclusion in the Sabayati archipelago all year round, has lost track of him. The absent hero Garp comes to mind. Sengoku was a little bit annoyed that iron cannot become steel, and his tone was full of solemnity and gravity. If Garp hadn't secretly adopted Portga's Dace, the son of pirate King Roger, how could they be so passive? If the other party were not his old comrade in arms, and even had the title of marine hero. He had great strength and military exploits, and had a special status. Not to mention whether he, the marine marshal, would hold him accountable, the world government alone would not have turned a blind eye, and passed it over lightly. But even so, after this battle, Garp, the marine hero, may have to take a back seat like the former Marine Admiral Black Arm Zephyr. Pluton Rayleigh, that pirate king's right wrist. Marine Admiral Akainu had a resolute face and a solemn expression, and said coldly, even if he is corrupted, is he still a pirate? In this case, to ensure nothing goes wrong, should we consider bringing back the Mamasagi, or T Dolphins, stationed on the New World side to fill the vacancy in Porosolino's combat strength? Aokiji, one of the three admirals, suggested. He used to have a lazy personality, but after learning that his comrade, Kazaru, Porosalino, who was also one of the three admirals, died, his lazy expression disappeared and was replaced by unprecedented seriousness and heaviness. The marine generals present, everyone couldn't help but nodded in approval. Currently, marine may have to face more than just the Whitebeard pirates. You must be fully prepared. Sengoku didn't seem surprised and responded directly, no need to worry about this. Among the newcomers who have recently joined Marine, a powerful monster has appeared. This is a blessing among misfortunes for Marine who has lost the Admiral Porosalino. I have urgently transferred him back and promoted him to the position of Naval Headquarters Vice Admiral. Being well prepared, he picked up a photo from the desk and posted it on the blackboard. 
a man in his fifties, with an unattractive appearance, even a ferocious face, wearing a purple robe and a somewhat slovenly figure appeared on the blackboard. Many marine generals were surprised. Because the staggered scars on the other person's forehead penetrated both eyes, making him look like a blind man. He smiled, but considering his strength that can be called a monster, I gave him a new codename, Fujitora, for Paramisha, the user with the ability to carry multiple fruits. Pointing to the sloppy figure in the photo, Sengoku raised his voice and said, although his eyes are disabled, his powerful observation hockey makes up for his blindness, and he can even hear the movements of clouds in the sky and even the horizon. Lei Ming, who also has strong swordsmanship, is the leading swordsman on the sea. Is that an exaggeration? Can you even hear the thunder in the sky? Real or fake? Many marine generals were shocked and some were confused. Even though it was clear that Sengoku, as the marshal of the naval headquarters, would never make a joke at this time, he still couldn't help but feel a little suspicious when he looked at the blind man named Yi Xiao in the photo. Marshal Sengoku, in an extraordinary period, made an exception to promote a new marine to become naval headquarters vice admiral. Doberman frowned, raised his hands and stood up, and said in a deep voice, but is it too hasty to rashly let a newcomer who does not know the details replace the vacancy after the death of Porosalino Admiral? Don't worry, I've asked Garp to verify it himself. Sengoku said directly. As for its origin, Cypher Pole has investigated it clearly and there is no problem. Vice Admiral Garp, that's no problem. The senior generals present nodded. Even the famous Hawk Generals Doberman, Ghost Spider and others in Marine did not have any objections. He was obviously full of respect and belief for the highly prestigious marine hero. In the solemn conference hall, the high-ranking generals expressed their opinions one after another, discussed various aspects of this war, and checked for any omissions. Until noon, there was still no intention to break up the meeting, which shows that naval headquarters attaches great importance to the Whitebeard pirates. Sururu, do you have anything to add? Marine Marshal Sengoku looked down at his comrade who was at the same time as him and fought side by side with him. He had outstanding military exploits, was a woman of equal rank, and was known as Marine's think tank Suru. Vice Admiral. What everyone said before has been perfect and there is no problem. However, in view of the unfortunate sacrifice of Admiral, Kazaru a few days ago, there is one person we have to watch out for. Crane Vice Admiral said in a deep voice. Dragon slaying samurai, Ryoma, right. Sengoku raised his eyebrows and couldn't help but said directly, Don't worry, if he appears on the battlefield, the world government will not sit idly by and watch. Cypher Pole will send someone over immediately. He had already raised this issue in previous discussions. Dragon slaying samurai, Shimotsuki Ryoma, this legendary strongman, just, resurrected, and unscrupulously killed the celestial dragons and the admiral of headquarters, which is really scary. When it comes to the world's nobility, the highest cipher POLCP0 directly affiliated with the celestial dragons under the world government cannot remain indifferent. No, don't be careless. This is a terrible enemy, so you need to pay special attention. Shaking his head and looking around at the senior marine generals, Crane Vice Admiral looked serious and said in a deep voice, before that, let me tell you about the past of the dragon-slaying samurai, Shimotsuki Ryoma. That legendary dragon-slaying warrior. I have long heard that the culprit who killed Mr. Kazaru. It's unbelievable. Is the world's greatest swordsman hundreds of years ago really still alive? The senior generals present could not help but look solemn. Even Admiral Akainu and Aokiji looked serious and serious. As one of the top players in naval headquarters, they know the strength of Porosalino very well. In such a short period of time, it was impossible for them to defeat Porosalino, let alone kill him. No matter what kind of conspiracy was used, or whether Kazaru was too careless, it is enough to show the danger and terror of the rumored dragon-slaying samurai Shimotsuki Ryoma who was resurrected from the dead. Hundreds of years ago, he killed the flying dragon above Wanokuni with one sword and was known as the dragon-slaying samurai. He even single-handedly prevented the world government and pirates from attacking the land known as the Golden Country. The invasion of Wanokuni let the world know the power of the samurai, with its powerful strength. Back then, when Ryoma traveled around the world, defeated those famous swordsmen and even the powerful men with surnames on the sea, and aspired to the throne of the world's greatest swordsman, he was only in his twenties, 
age, but died young in less than a few years. It is rumored that no matter what kind of strong man he is, as long as he looks into the eyes of the dragon-slaying samurai, Shimotsuki Ryoma, who are as sharp as a pair of blades and as if they can foresee the future, they will tremble involuntarily and dare not look directly. Just the aura. It would be necessary to directly score a weak three-pointer, and may even directly lose the courage to take action and give up hope of survival. Perhaps, everyone knows something about the above, but that's not what I want to say. Those present were not surprised. It was obvious that they already knew about the deeds of the dragon-slaying warriors, and they might even have gone to check the relevant records. I have to admit that Shimotsuki Ryoma's monster-like talent to become the strongest in the world in his twenties is really awe-inspiring and amazing. Suru Vice Admiral suddenly asked, Does anyone know why Ryoma died suddenly at the age of only 26? Not long ago, I just learned from the world government's secret documents that are not open to the public. Without giving the somewhat astonished generals a chance to respond, Suru Vice Admiral said bluntly, Hundreds of years ago, when Ryoma was about to leave Wanokuni and travel around the world again, he happened to meet someone who was in charge of inspecting the major participating countries of the world government. The ship of the world noble Celestial Dragon was attacked with artillery by the world noble. In anger, he directly cut off the world government's ship with his sword, and even split the world noble in half thus angering the world government and attracting Buster Call Fleet, and led by an admiral of headquarters himself. What, no wonder you are so bold and instruct those guys from CP9 to kill the world's nobles. Is this why he hates world government? Was he killed by Buster Call? It doesn't make sense. If that's the case, then why aren't there any records in history? Akainu, Aokiji, Doberman and others could not help but shrink their pupils. Some were inexplicably surprised, and some were even more confused. They may not have studied Marine's history as deeply as Vice Admiral, but they still have a general understanding. I have never heard of this incident at all, nor have I seen any relevant records in books. Do you all think that Marine's Buster Call Fleet defeated the former world's greatest swordsman? No, on the contrary, the Buster Call Fleet of more than 20 warships in the naval headquarters was destroyed by the Dragon Slaying Samurai. Ryoma in one fell swoop, and was buried in the sea. Only the headquarters admiral who led the team and those vice admirals survived. Based on the ambition to conquer Wanokuni, the golden country, and the eagerness to establish its authority, the furious world government sent two admirals from the naval headquarters, and even the ace who was known as the strongest shield of the celestial dragons in CPO. On the move. It is said that during that battle, the sky was split, landslides and tsunamis occurred, and a huge island sank to the bottom of the sea forever. But Shimotsuki Ryoma not only powerfully killed a marine admiral at that time, but also seriously injured another marine admiral and the CP0 ace agent who was known as the strongest shield of the Tianlong people. Later, the ace agent from CP0 used it before his death. He was cursed by his own weird paramecia cursed fruit ability, and fell into a long sleep. His body sank into the sea together with his sword Ashui, or the most powerful sword in history, Akagami. Later, he was recovered by the Shimotsuki clan of Wanokuni, and his body and sword were enshrined and enshrined. The sword god, and the dragon god, will be sacrificed by the whole country. And the surviving admiral died of his injuries three months after returning to naval headquarters. Crane Vice Admiral said quietly, this is the news that she recently made a special trip to Mariajoy to check after obtaining permission from the world government. Now that Ryoma has been resurrected, it is necessary for Marine's senior management to know what a formidable and powerful enemy this is, so as not to underestimate the enemy and cause Marine to suffer heavy losses again. The current sea situation is not optimistic. Whitebeard, Edward Newgate, Big Mom, Charlotte Linlin, Hundred Beasts, Kaido, and Red Hair, Shanks, the four great pirates who occupy the second half of the Grand Line, dominate the New World like emperors of the sea, and are known as, four emperors, rivaling naval headquarters. As for the seven warlords of the sea, the third force of the Grand Line that is nominally in the world government camp, those pirates with their own agendas are simply not reliable. The revolutionary army is hiding in secret and fueling the flames. It is constantly setting off revolutionary rebellions around the world in an attempt to overthrow the rule of the world government. If Marine underestimated Ryoma, his enemy, the losses would be too great. Then the consequences will be disastrous. What? Gulu. 
that dragon slaying warrior actually. Hey, it's not true, is it? Two of naval headquarters' highest combat capabilities plus one of CP0's strongest shields are actually. There was an uproar in the entire conference hall. It was a bit noisy for a while. All the marine generals present looked shocked, some couldn't believe it, they couldn't help but break out in cold sweat, and couldn't calm down. In this case, the legendary, dragon-slaying warrior, would be too scary, right? Akainu, Sakazuki and, Aokiji, Kuzan had unprecedented serious and vigilant expressions on their faces, revealing their deep fear. Although they don't know very well how strong the naval headquarters was at its highest level hundreds of years ago, but just looking at the admiral of headquarters in the past few decades, they can imagine that it will not be that weak. Indeed, although I don't know why that guy came back to life, it seems that the anger that has been dormant for hundreds of years is going to be vented on the world government, and we at naval headquarters are the first to bear the brunt. Marine Marshal Sengoku, who had already known about the past grudges between Dragon Slaying Samurai, Shimotsuki Ryoma and the world government, said solemnly, and from the fact that he recruited CP9, it can be seen that unlike hundreds of years ago, the current Shimotsuki Ryoma, not only does he want to take revenge on the celestial dragons, he may also have the ambition to overthrow the world government. If it cannot be eliminated early, it will definitely be a serious problem in the future. Considering the monster-like strength of Dragon Slaying Samurai, Shimotsuki Ryoma and the dangers and huge threats it poses, the world government has decided to replace a bounty on Shimotsuki Ryoma, who was originally considered dead and was not wanted. Clang, clang, hurry up, don't you even have the strength to hold the sword? It's better to go back and feed yourself, boy. No one knows, in unknown waters. A huge island is suspended directly in the sky. And it's swept towards the depths of the sea at a fairly slow speed. On the island, two figures were fighting. In other words, Trafalgar Law is being tortured by Golden Lion Shiki. In an instant, she couldn't hold the field sword anymore and screamed. Sakura was easily knocked away by the unsheathed hand of the Golden Lion. The sharp ghost cry rotated in midair and stuck straight into the ground. Boom, and the pitch black scabbard struck him hard. Let it fly out directly. It hit the ground hard, raising a cluck of dust. Ha! Dot ha, Luo Bai was lying there with a bruise and swollen face, sweating profusely. Panting heavily, his chest heaved violently. He has been training since early in the morning. Almost exhausted. Being able to get guidance is certainly worthy of envy from others, but this guy from Golden Lion is absolutely merciless. Although he didn't use the blade, he hit himself hard with the scabbard every time. The pain made him grin, and now there was almost no good flesh on his body. Seeing the white bear Bebo and others in the distance, they were sweating. While I was happy for the captain, I couldn't help but mourn for him. And Blackbeard Marshal D. Teach. He was sent out by Ryoma to teach the basics of hockey to Rob Lucci, Lafitte, Van Oka, DJ Yinapu, Jewelry Bonnie, Magician Hawkins, Monk Rouge and others. In order to show his loyalty, he hopes to win Ryoma's trust as soon as possible. Blackbeard is really hardworking and has no secrets. After introducing and demonstrating the two types of hockey, observation hockey and armament hockey, I took the trouble to respond to questions from Rob Lucci, Lafit and others. They were naturally envious that Luo could accept the teachings of Golden Lion Shiki, the legendary pirate. But such a strong man is not without temper. Can accept the task of teaching Luo swordsmanship. Still because the other party used op op fruit ability to help him. Gia ha 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 is your determination for revenge only to this extent. Looking down at Luo, Golden Lion Shiki sneered. If it weren't for Ryoma's order, and for the sake of this boy helping him, he wouldn't bother to teach him. Da Flamingo, Luo's face turned red, clenching his fists, his eyes flashed with strong hatred, he gritted his teeth and stood up insistently. Come again, Gia ha ha ha, this is so cool. Boom. Bang. Stand up. Under a parasol, Ryoma, who was sitting on a beach chair, watched with no intention of intervening. The foundation of Trafalgar Law is poor. Being able to rely on his own talent to reach the current level is already quite good. If it were him to teach, he would definitely make Trafalgar Law abandon the superficial knowledge he had learned before and practice it from scratch. Start with the most basic skills of drawing a sword and chopping. It will take at least a year or more to start from scratch and lay the foundation again. 
With his guidance, a person can be transformed and show his talents in five years. With Trafalgar Law's talent and talents, he may be able to conquer the realm of great swordsmen in the future. Coupled with the powerful ability of its op-op fruit, there are only a handful of people who can beat it. But that would be too time-consuming. After all, Golden Lion is a famous swordsman, so it's not impossible to see that this kid Luo has learned too much, and he's only half-assed at it. But it can also be seen that this guy is eager for revenge. An adult with hatred in his heart and impetuous temperament all the time. It is absolutely impossible for him to be willing to spend such a long time and hold back to practice the most basic introduction to swordsmanship. It is impossible to expect him to be able to calm down and concentrate on practicing swordsmanship. Gah! A news bird flew in. A coin accurately hit the bag hanging around its neck. A brand new newspaper fell and was caught by Ryoma. A new wanted poster was tucked inside the newspaper. Are there three days left? It's almost. Look at the above report on the public execution of Fire Fist, Ace. There was also the wanted poster with a huge reward, Ryoma chuckled. As early as a few days ago, Marine had released the wanted order for CP9 through the World Economic News Service. Rob Lucci, 200 million belly, Kaku, 180 million belly, Jabra, 165 million belly, the other members, Fukuro, Kumidori, and Khalifa, all have 100 million belly bounties on their heads. It can be seen that the world government attaches great importance to and is angry with traitors like CP9. They have been included in the must-kill list by the Cypher Pole Department. At that time, it also caused huge waves. After all, rookie pirates with a bounty of over 100 million are all superstars. Now, so many people have been added at once. But considering it involves killing the world's noble celestial dragons, it's understandable. On the new bounty list, it is a picture of a silver-white majestic figure in the forest. Dragon-slaying samurai, Shimotsuki Ryoma, the most vicious criminal in history, has a bounty of 5 billion belly, regardless of life or death. 5 billion, haha, if I remember correctly, the reward seemed to be 500 million. After the Buster Call incident, it directly became 1 billion, right? The corners of his mouth raised, Ryoma raised his hand. That newspaper along with his own reward list. They all turned directly into debris and scattered in the wind. This day, fly around the world with Newsbird. A famous pirate, noble, resident. Seeing the new bounty on the, dragon-slaying samurai, Shimotsuki Ryoma included in the newspaper, everyone could not help but widen their eyes and froze. Am I right? Many people wiped their eyes again and again, staring blankly at the strings of, zero inches s. Some were speechless and broke into cold sweat. Five billion baileys, Gulu, are you kidding me? Yes, a monster that has lived for hundreds of years, dares to openly kill the world's noble celestial dragons, and can directly kill the most powerful monster in the naval headquarters is worthy of such a huge bounty. He is indeed the greatest swordsman in the world in the past. I wonder who is more powerful than Mahawk, the greatest swordsman in the world now. Among the criminals who are still alive, apart from Whitebeard, who has a bounty of 5 billion 46 million berries, the dragon-slaying samurai, Shimotsuki Ryoma has the highest bounty. Strictly speaking, those criminals with bounties on their heads exceeding a billion or even billions of belly. It is no longer within the capabilities of ordinary bounty hunters. In this sea, it seems that the higher the bounty, the more the reputation of the thugs and criminals for whom the bounty is placed will increase, and their arrogance will become more and more arrogant. But in fact, this is not a demonstration by the world government to the other party, nor is it an expectation that some strong man hidden among the people can take off the other party's head for a huge bounty. Instead, we would like to remind all marine personnel, officials under the world government, and those who have joined the kingdom, etc., of the dangers of this vicious criminal, so as to prevent someone from our own camp from despising the other party after encountering him, and causing unnecessary losses by overestimating his ability to provoke him. You must act within your capabilities. G.U. La La La. New World, aboard Moby Dick. Holding the brand new reward list in his hand, Whitebeard Edward Newgate laughed, to be rewarded with a reward of 5 billion baileys all of a sudden is really an incredible guy. I really want to compete with such a person, but it's a pity. He was there smiling, but unspeakable regret flashed through those sharp eyes. It's a pity that Whitebeard knows how bad his physical condition is. 
even if it is not clear how Admiral Kazaru was killed, the title of the world's greatest swordsman Shimotsuki Ryoma, the dragon-slaying samurai, hundreds of years ago, is by no means in vain. If you really fight against such a legendary monster, the chances of defeat are high. In some unknown sea area, the White Earth Island where the headquarters of the Revolutionary Army is rumored to be located, Barudigo. Dragon-slaying samurai, Shimotsuki Ryoma. On the rooftop of a two- or three-story building, strong winds blew through. A middle-aged man wearing a green robe, with a tattoo on his left face and a spiky hair, held the reward notice in his hand and looked in the direction of the sea, silent for a long time. The situation in the sea is getting more and more chaotic. But this is not a bad thing for the Revolutionary Army. Mr. Long, a delicate-looking young woman with orange hair and a hood with goggles ran up and said anxiously, Sabo and Luffy are missing. Clar, I already know, I asked the bear to send them away. Revolutionary Long seemed to have expected this and said calmly, you should know that with the characters of these two brothers, even if they are imprisoned, they will still find ways to escape. Moreover, my sworn brother was publicly executed. If the two of them cannot rush to the rescue, they will leave indelible regrets in their lives. But, Clar was full of worry and wanted to say something else. That was the battlefield where the naval headquarters gathered a hundred thousand elites and launched an all-out war against the Whitebeard Pirates. According to intelligence from the Revolutionary Army, Marine has just made an exception and promoted a civilian monster codenamed, Fujitora, who recently joined Marine to make up for the vacancy caused by the sacrifice of Admiral Kazaru. By then, strong men will gather in the naval headquarters, and the battle will be unimaginably cruel. Even if Sabo's strength is not weak, it doesn't mean he can escape unscathed. Don't worry, Long, a revolutionary with a calm and hockey personality, waved his hand. Seeing Kral who was a little worried, he patted her shoulder and comforted her with a smile. Red Hair Pirates and Roger Pirates Deputy Captain Pluton Rayleigh and others are planning to save people, and nothing will happen to them. It would be a good thing for Luffy, the impulsive boy, to realize his shortcomings. How could he feel relieved if he didn't go there in person? Comma, Naval Headquarters, Marineford, in a spacious and luxurious conference hall. A large round table was placed there, with a variety of fragrant delicacies and snacks on it, as well as expensive wine. Several different figures were sitting there. The beautiful figures of Empress Boa Hancock and Bartholomew Bear were among them. In addition, the embarrassed and bloated figure of Gecko Moria was also sitting there with a bandage on his body, enjoying the food unceremoniously. Opposite Bartholomew Bear, Mahawk held a goblet filled with bright red wine, sipping it carefully, calmly and calmly. The supreme and sharp black sword, Yi, which was famous throughout the sea as he was the world's greatest swordsman, was put aside. Vice Admiral, the elderly crane, is also present. The fingers of both hands are intertwined, holding the chin, like an ordinary old woman. But the calm and extraordinary demeanor on her body makes it impossible to underestimate her. Ta, ta, footsteps sounded. A tall figure with short blonde hair, wearing a flamingo down cloak, red sunglasses, cropped pants, and pointed shoes walked in. Seeing Eagle Eye who was tasting wine there, he raised his eyebrows and seemed to be surprised, hey, it's really rare. I didn't expect you to come so early. Heavenly Yaksha, Don Quixote da Flamingo grinned and said with a smile, but the news about the resurrection of the dragon-slaying samurai, Shimotsuki Ryoma has spread all over the sea, and they all say that you are the world's greatest swordsman. I'm afraid I won't be able to protect my name. According to his previous personality, he should have been a little gloating about his misfortune. But E's wise gaze vaguely revealed some fear in Heavenly Yaksha's eyebrows. He seemed to be wary of the dragon-slaying warrior who suddenly appeared. You seem to be very concerned about the resurrection of Shimotsuki Ryoma, Da Flamingo. Crane Vice Admiral said. Ha, don't be so eager to test me as soon as you come up. Suru Vice Admiral. Da Flamingo was there smiling. He unceremoniously pulled out a seat and sat down with his legs crossed. All of a sudden, you Marine, no, the world government put a reward of 5 billion belly. His appearance will affect the situation of the sea. The balance of the so-called three major forces may be directly broken by this legendary monster. Why is he afraid of Ryoma? Because he is the seven warlords of the sea. Privately he is not only an intermediary, 
clown, who has shady transactions and connections with a large number of forces in the underground world, but in addition to his pirate group and business operations, he is also involved in weapons and drug trade. In addition to other illegal things, he also has deep dealings with Kaido of the Beasts, one of the four emperors. Even to some extent, Kaido of the Beasts is his backing and support. Holding the banner of Beasts Pirates can scare a lot of rats. The resurrection of Dragon Slaying Samurai, Ryoma is likely to pose a threat to Kaido of the Beasts who occupy Wanokuni. That's why I came, putting down the red wine, he stared at the falcon-like gaze on the table at the huge reward list of up to 5 billion baileys that had just been released, and said faintly, I don't think such a person will miss such a reward. Occasion. His eyes showed a fiery fighting spirit. For hundreds of years, any swordsman who talks about the former, dragon-slaying samurai, Shimotsuki Ryoma will subconsciously admit that the other person has stood at the top of the world, the pinnacle of Kendo. I want to know how far I am from that legendary man. Three days later, the morning sun broke through the night. These days, countless people on the sea have been waiting restlessly. The day when Fire Fist Ace, the leader of the second division of the Whitebeard Pirates, will be publicly executed at naval headquarters. It finally arrived. It was around six o'clock in the morning, just daybreak. The marine soldiers stationed on the Sabayati archipelago gradually moved the huge telephone bugs and electronic screen equipment to the spacious square. It's finally about to begin. Do you think Whitebeard will really come? Who knows, the strongest man in the world must be very old. This time naval headquarters did not hesitate to gather more than 100,000 elite troops, probably not just to deal with the Whitebeard pirates. Hey, it's such a long-awaited battle. Don't draw conclusions too early. It's hard to say whether the Whitebeard pirates will appear or not. Countless reporters, nobles, people, and pirates have been waiting there for a long time. The atmosphere seems anxious, depressed, and uneasy. No one knows how big a war will happen next. Fire Fist, Ace, the captain of the Whitebeard Pirates 2nd Division, was publicly executed. Whitebeard, the king of the sea in the previous era, has always been called, the strongest man in the world. No one dares to say whether the Whitebeard Pirates will appear or not. There will undoubtedly be a shocking battle that will affect the future of the world. Not only on this island, but also in East Blue, West Blue, South Blue, North Blue and other places, countless vendors have closed their doors and have no intention of continuing to do business. This shows how big an impact this public execution has. Comma, Wu, Ta, Ta, Naval Headquarters, it was just dawn. Accompanied by the loud bugle sound, bursts of neat and heavy footsteps echoed. Tens of thousands of elite troops have begun to assemble on Olas Square behind the naval headquarters Crescent Bay. The marine personnel all had serious faces and solemn expressions. Many people pursed their lips tightly, trying to calm down their nervous moods. The entire naval headquarters was filled with an unnatural silence. Moreover, the number of troops in the square is still increasing. Most of the residents living in Marineford are the family members of marine officers. In recent days, they have been gradually transferred under the command and arrangement of marine personnel. There are also a small number of people who are carrying large and small bags, dragging their families and leaving in a nervous and orderly manner. Prepare to leave naval headquarters on a marine transport ship and head to a safe island for refuge. Because it is very likely that the entire naval headquarters will become a battlefield next. Until just before 8 o'clock. Throughout naval headquarters square. The huge execution platform stood there. Bang dang, he was about to be publicly executed. Fire Fist, Ace, who was wearing handcuffs and leg cuffs, was being escorted by executioners to the execution platform step by step. In order to prevent forces such as the Whitebeard Pirates and Red Hair Pirates from possibly infiltrating the prison, Fire Fist, Ace, the captain of the second division of the Whitebeard Pirates, was transferred to the naval headquarters for detention early. 100,000 elites gathered in front, densely packed and full of murderous intent. On that iron hook with the huge word, Marine, written on it, and against the backdrop of the majestic naval headquarters building, people can feel the power of righteousness from a distance. Dracul Mahawk, Heavenly Yaksha, Don Quixote da Flamingo, Tyrant, Bartholomew Bear, Empress, Boa Hancock, and Gecko Moria from Seven Warlords of the Sea have been invited to Crescent Bay. Missing as the Fishman, Seaman, Jinbei, 
who was said to be imprisoned in the Impel Down prison on the order of Marine Marshal Sengoku because he opposed Marine's public execution of Fire Fist. Asen was unwilling to fight the Whitebeard Pirates, as well as the Seaman, Jinbei who was supposed to replace Sand Crocodile. Crocodile became the new seven warlords of the sea. Blackbeard Marshal D. Teach suddenly disappeared for some reason and could no longer be contacted. The sequence of seven warlords of the sea is right at the front of Marine's military formation. Marine's intention is self-evident. Garp, I hope you know where you stand. Inside the Marshal's office at Naval Headquarters. Sengoku looked serious, staring at the hero Garp in front of him, and said in a deep voice, Now that things have come to this, if you dare to do anything, I will not forgive you. If I had wanted to do something, I would have done it long ago. Garp clenched his fists with an expressionless face and left without looking back. But the trembling eyes showed how entangled and struggling he was in his heart at this moment. Looking at the desolate figure of his old friend leaving, Sengoku, as Marine Marshal, had complicated eyes and remained silent for a long time. His adjutant Branu looked at the time and had to whisper there, Marshal Sengoku, the time is almost up, please prepare. New, looking at the 100,000 marine elites outside who have assembled most of the righteous force. Sengoku's complicated eyes turned to determination. Don't blame me, Garp. Comma, the picture above Marineford. Simultaneous live broadcast has already been started. People around the world are nervously watching this public execution, which is likely to trigger an all-out war between the naval headquarters and the Whitebeard pirates, leading to a dramatic change in the situation at sea. Ace. Sabayati Archipelago, in the huge square. There were crowds of people, and a huge screen stood there, and a large video phone bug was projecting the scene on Olis Square in the naval headquarters. A young man wearing a red shirt and straw hat looked at the expressionless fire fist ace being escorted to the execution platform, his fists clenched and his eyes turned red. I couldn't help but rush forward. Luffy, don't be impulsive, it's not time yet. But he was held tightly by a blonde man wearing a top hat, dressed as an aristocrat and with large burn marks on his face. That boy is none other than Straw Hat Luffy. Thanks to his special physique modified by his own rubber fruit ability, as well as his super vitality, coupled with the ability of Bartholomew Bear to use the rubber fruit, the damage he suffered was ejected. The injury he suffered when he was easily crushed by Ryoma on the Sabayati Archipelago has long since healed. In the forest, Sabo, a revolutionary army cadre holding the impulsive straw hat Luffy, whispered to him, Don't forget, you promised that if I bring you here, you must obey me. He comes from a noble family in the Goa Kingdom of East Blue. He is a sworn brother with straw hat Luffy and fire fist ace. Because he went to see Rashley when he was a child, he was unfortunately attacked by celestial dragons, causing his face to be burned and he lost his memory. He was rescued by the Revolutionary Dragon and brought back to the Revolutionary Army Headquarters for training. Over the years, he has begun to stand out in the Revolutionary Army with his outstanding talents. Due to Penultimate's merits and strength, there were even voices within the Revolutionary Army proposing that he serve as Chief of Staff. A few days ago, when I saw the Straw Hat Luffy at the Revolutionary Army Headquarters, who had just been given to me by the tyrant, Bartholomew Bear, who was revealed to be one of the seven warlords of the sea, but whose private identity was a cadre of the Revolutionary Army, Sabo regained his memory and recognized Straw Hat Luffy. And determined to save, Fire Fist, Ace who will be publicly executed by Marine. Don't forget, Mr. Rayleigh and the others haven't started taking action yet. We are just causing trouble for them. The world's largest deep-sea prison, Impel Down, is located deep in the calm belt and in the lair of the Sea Kings. Together with Naval Headquarters and Eni's Lobby, they are known as the three major agencies of the world government, and they are the horns of each other. They are located in the triangle of a giant vortex current, and each is separated from the giant current by a huge gate of justice. As long as you open the door of justice, you can reach the other two places in the fastest time along the sea current from any place. Get ready for war at Naval Headquarters. Set up your formation and prepare for the moment. A huge door of justice that goes straight into the sky. A huge floating sky island comes across along the huge vortex current. Is that the door to justice? It's the first time I've seen it. Tisk, tisk, it's really exaggerated. Capone Beige, DJ Yinapu, Trafalgar Law and others were all a little shocked. This was their first time seeing such a huge portal. 
It's hard to imagine what a huge project this is. How did world government build such an exaggerated door of justice? Gia ha ha ha, it's been 20 years, I didn't expect to come back again. The wild figure of golden lion Shaki stood beside Ryoma and laughed. The huge floating sky island is far away from the sea, right in the middle of the gate of justice. The surveillance phone bugs placed below the impel down prison were unable to capture this giant island at all. Just as he was about to control the floating sky island to fly higher into the sky and cross the gate of justice, Golden Lion caught a glimpse of Ryoma staring directly at the gate of justice with a stern look in his eyes, as if he was eager to try. His heart skipped a beat and he asked jokingly, Ryoma, sir, you don't want to split it open, do you? I don't know what kind of material this thing is made of. It is harder than ordinary steel. It is more than several thousand meters high and is even at least hundreds of meters thick. It is also infiltrated with sea stone material. Even the devil fruit ability cannot destroy it. An idle swordsman. It's not easy to leave scratches on it. The golden lion does not think that the dragon horse can open the door of justice. I know better than you how strong it is, but there is never anything in this world that can't be cut, only swordsmen who are not strong enough. Ryoma didn't even look back. He stared straight at the huge, mist-shrouded gate of justice. The autumn water on his hand suddenly came out of its sheath. It turned into a dazzling blue blade and was held in his hand. It made Trafalgar Law, Rob Lucci, Blackbeard and others feel very excited. Some looked at Ryoma in disbelief. Is this really going to open the door to justice? Ryoma held the autumn god in his hand, stepped forward slowly, and said calmly, get away. The words have not yet finished. The aura on his body suddenly became sharp. The whole person is like an indestructible blade, and his momentum can't help rising. A pair of eyes that are so sharp that they make people tremble and dare not look directly at them. He locked the huge door of justice in front of him. Hearing this, Golden Lion Shaki was shocked. He looked at Ryoma with some surprise. But without saying anything, Rob Lucci and others all left one after another. The long silver white hair danced, and a terrifying aura emerged from Ryoma's majestic figure. The earth began to crack. Particles such as rubble, gravel, and weeds on the ground kept floating up. Trafalgar Law, Lafitte and others were inexplicably suffocated, and cold sweat could not help but flow out. What a suffocating momentum! Blackbeard's face turned pale, and he looked in horror at the majestic dragon and horse standing in front of him, holding a sword. I don't know when cold sweat broke out on my forehead, and I couldn't help but swallowed. Just facing it makes people feel like giving up the hope of survival. Even Whitebeard in his heyday is far from having such a sense of oppression. Holding Autumn God horizontally, Ryoma closed his eyes. That shuddering aura locked tightly on the ever closer, gigantic and unshakable door of justice. Nine mountains and eight seas, there is no self. The calm and majestic voice echoed there, and the whole person's aura could not help but rise, and it was extremely terrifying. The pressure made Rob Lucci, Lafitte, Buggy and others feel cold and out of breath. Buzz, weird and inexplicable fluctuations kept coming from Chu Shen. The high-level hockey, invisible to the naked eye, covers the faint blue blade. Brush, the moment he opened his eyes. That chi that is so fierce that it can kill anything and everything makes people shudder. Golden Lion, Blackbeard and others couldn't help but stand on end. The blue blade held flat in front of him. Suddenly slashed out. Heavenly punishment. Kai, time and space seemed to be frozen at this moment. The dazzling blazing light drowned out all light, making it impossible to open one's eyes. The supreme sharp sword Akagami cooperates with Ryoma to burst out his own armament hockey at once. It turned into an unimaginable sword. Cut it out. Boom boom boom. The deafening sound echoed violently there. The gate of justice, which was thousands of meters high, screamed and broke into two pieces. This huge door that reached into the sky and had stood for hundreds of years, claiming to be unshakable, suddenly collapsed. Toward the sea behind, it fell heavily. Rumble. Crash. Huge waves rose into the sky, hundreds of meters high, and surged endlessly. Rushing in all directions, it almost flooded the impregnable impel down prison located deep in the calm belt. A lot of sea water poured in. One prison inmate was directly washed away by the seawater. The first level prison on the surface turned into a large swamp, 
and an influx of people kept pouring into the crimson hell located on the underground level. Fortunately, the amount of seawater poured in is not that exaggerated and is not enough to directly submerge the entire prison. Otherwise, it would be an unimaginable disaster for the world's largest deep-sea prison. Boom, boom, one after another, the warships lying across the sea were shaking violently, and several were directly overturned by the waves. The marine personnel's faces turned pale, and they were smashed to pieces. Some even fell directly into the sea, screaming for help and panic. Because this is no ordinary sea area, but the calm belt, home to the large sea kings. Ah, ah, gate of justice, how is it possible? Gulu, is it fake? The unshakable door of justice that has stood for 800 years actually. It collapsed. Looking ahead, I can see the faintly visible gate of justice, which is still standing there and symbolizes the world government flag. The cross-shaped pattern is divided into two in the middle, and only half of it is left, tightly closed. The faces of marine personnel and impel down prison personnel changed drastically. Looking at the door of justice that suddenly broke into two pieces and collapsed in disbelief, I broke into a cold sweat. My mouth is wide open and I can't speak. Wait, that's floating island. Oh my God, could it be? The next moment, his pupils shrank sharply. Because, the huge black shadow in the sky came into view. They all showed panic. The huge floating sky island is filled with deathly silence. Compared to the prison personnel in Impel Down, even the marines responsible for guarding the place were panicked. Blackbeard, Rob Lucci, Jewelry Bonnie Lafitte, Hawkins and others all couldn't help but sweat. He stared in horror at the silver-white figure standing in front of him holding a knife. His majesty was so impressive that no one dared to offend him. One after another, they opened their mouths wide and were speechless. Gulu, they swallowed with some difficulty. He stared blankly at the incomparably majestic gate of justice, which originally reached into the sky and was bigger than an island. Now it has been divided into two, leaving only half of the gate of justice. I was deeply shocked. How terrifyingly powerful, what kind of monster is this? Jewelry Bonnie and Khalifa's beautiful eyes flashed with unspeakable ripples, and their hearts trembled a little. Such a heroic and majestic man really makes people admire him from the bottom of his heart. Gia ha ha ha, you are worthy of being the legendary, god of swords. He can do such exaggerated things. Once again understanding Ryoma's strength in depth, Golden Lion Shaki tried his best to smile, but his back was soaked in cold sweat at some point. Wet. Dragon slaying samurai, Shimotsuki Ryoma, is this your true strength? Looking into Ryoma's eyes, unknowingly, I felt a little more deeply shocked. I am not afraid, but Golden Lion can't help but admire and admire him from the bottom of my heart. In a daze, he felt as if he was not facing a person, but an indestructible and unparalleled sharp blade. Some dare not think deeply about whether they, in their prime, could have blocked or dodged that terrifying ultimate sword. As a great swordsman of the dual sword style, Golden Lion naturally knows that this is a realm that countless swordsmen dream of, and even a great swordsman like him may not be able to achieve it in his lifetime. A true union of man and knife. The world's greatest swordsman in the past is well deserved. Now, he must still be the real world's greatest swordsman. What is Dracul Mahawk? Let him go back to suck the milk. There are still some shortcomings. The silver hair is flying, and the dragon and horse sheath the autumn god. He took a long breath and shook his head. With that stabbing blow just now, his energy and energy were concentrated and sublimated to ultimate. Armament Hockey, who was so tyrannical as to be ultimate, completely exploded at this moment. That is to say, only the Autumn God, who ranks as the supreme sharp sword, can withstand the violent and terrifying power of Ryoma. If replaced by an ordinary famous sword, I am afraid it will be scrapped. The armament Hockey in his body was directly consumed. Even with his body that has been transformed by the ageless surgery. Life functions and other aspects have already surpassed the limits of human beings. Within 10 minutes, Hockey still couldn't recover directly. Of course, even if Hockey cannot be used, it does not mean that Ryoma, a monster who was recognized as the world's greatest swordsman hundreds of years ago, has directly lost his fighting power. The supreme sharp sword Autumn God is in hand. With just one wave of his hand, he can split mountains and seas. Those legends on the sea are not completely false. Only he, the master, 
can exert the true power of autumn god. Go over and use your ability to uproot this deep sea prison. Taking a deep breath, Ryoma looked at Golden Lion Shiki and gave direct instructions. That irresistible sharp gaze makes people feel awe. Gia ha ha, leave it to me next. Golden Lion Shiki laughed. Directly using Lion Fruit's ability, he controlled the floating sky island to cross the broken gate of justice and pounced towards the distant island in the calm belt, known as the world's first deep sea. Impel down. At this moment, impel down. The first floor of the ground has been transformed into Wang Yang Zeguo. It was wet, and there were prison guards everywhere who were dripping wet, in a state of embarrassment, and beaten to pieces. But they were all a little flustered. Quick, quick, I want to be the director. Oh no, I made a mistake. Report it to Director Magellan. Arrive at the door of Impel Down. He ignored the overturned warships and the marine personnel waving their hands and feet desperately for help. The first thing I noticed outside was the huge island that kept flying towards me. A fat-bellied figure that looked like an evil ghost, with a pale face, shouted in panic, it's Golden Lion Shaki, and only he has that ability. Looking at the straight line disconnected gate of justice, he couldn't help but break into a cold sweat. That kind of trajectory will most likely be split apart by life. Even the Gate of Justice, which is infiltrated with sea stone, is unimaginably strong, and is hundreds of meters thick. No ordinary swordsman can leave a mark on it. If it can be split like this, what kind of monster is it? Is Golden Lion Shiki's swordsmanship so exaggerated? Yes. Next to her, a blonde beauty wearing a prison guard uniform, soaked in seawater and looking a little embarrassed quickly took out a phone and started to contact Magellan the director of the prison who was in charge of Blazing Hell, the fourth underground floor. In fact, the entire Impel Down prison has already been alerted. The huge gate of justice fell to the bottom of the sea, and the deafening sound it made not only caused countless sea kings in this sea area to flee in panic, but even the Impel Down shook violently. It caused quite a bit of panic. The fourth underground level, Blazing Hell. On the unbearably hot corridor, Magellan looked up at the sky with a confused expression. Without hesitation, he shouted to the prison guards around him, escort all the criminals back to prison. Also, contact that guy from Haniabal immediately and ask what happened. Yes, Bulu, Bolo, but before the prison guard next to him started to move and was placed nearby, wearing a gas mask, some funny phone bug suddenly rang. Moses Moses, I'm Magellan. Magellan directly picked up the phone and answered the call. Director, I am Domino. The gate of justice collapsed, and a huge island flew towards Impel Down. Domino, the deputy warden of Impel Down, said in a rapid voice, with a bit of panic, it was probably twenty years ago. Golden Lion Shaki, the big pirate who escaped from Impel Down. What, Golden Lion? The news made Magellan's pupils shrink sharply, his expression changed drastically, and he couldn't believe it. The situation was urgent and it was impossible for Domino to make such a joke with him, and the strong shock he felt just now was obviously not a joke. Regardless of whether the unshakable door of justice that had stood for hundreds of years had really collapsed, Magellan shouted loudly, I will go up now, and you will report the situation to naval headquarters immediately. That figure, that's right, it's Golden Lion Shaki. This, isn't his leg already. But just when he hung up the phone, in the disbelieving and panic-stricken eyes of Deputy Warden Domino, Deputy Director Haniabal, the surviving Marines, and the prison guards. An old and wild golden figure swept out from the floating sky island that was constantly flying across the sky, and flew directly over at a faster speed. Who is the golden lion Shaki who successfully escaped from Impel Down and broke the myth of the iron walls of this deep-sea prison? Moreover, they were shocked to discover that the legs that Golden Lion Shaki had cut off in order to escape from prison had recovered, and even the rudder on his head was gone. Shaki, you, as the deputy director, Haniabal suppressed the panic in his heart, flew up into the sky and asked loudly, what are you going to do? Gia ha ha ha, you useless guy is still here. The Golden Lion landed firmly at the door of Impel Down. Looking at the embarrassed Haniabal in front of him, he recognized the other person and couldn't help but sneered. Without saying a word, under the dramatic changes in the eyes of Haniabal and others, he pressed his right hand directly on Impel Down, I was in a hurry to leave and let Impel Down. I have wanted to do this for a long time. Gia ha ha ha, get up. Boom, 
ah, ah, golden lion, you, without warning, the entire impel went down. It shook violently, causing Haniabal and other prison staff to lose their balance and fall to pieces. Amidst Golden Lion Shiki's unbridled laughter, the world's largest deep-sea prison rumbled continuously, causing the sea to surge and suddenly rise from the ground. Rumble, crashing, crashing, the loud noise shook the sky. The whole island was shaking. Unimaginable power caused this large prison that should have been located in the deep sea to rise from the bottom of the sea. The surviving marines on the dozen or so marine warships looked up at the exaggerated impel down floating in the air. They couldn't help but open their mouths, their faces turned pale, and they were sweating profusely. Ah, what happened? I'm not dreaming, am I? The world's largest deep-sea prison, known as the Iron Wall, Impel Down, is shaking. Impel Down within, countless prisoners and prison guards were all beaten to pieces and dizzy. Everyone couldn't help but be shocked and some couldn't believe it. This is, could it be? Magellan, who was just about to enter the elevator and was about to rush up, staggered and almost fell down. He was holding on to the wall and looking around in confusion. He could vaguely feel that the whole prison was shaking and shaking, and his expression changed drastically. There is an ominous feeling. Go to eternal hell immediately and release Shiryu of rain. Magellan did not hesitate and shouted to the panicked prison guards next to him, I'm going to stop the golden lion. Ha, huh, warden Shiryu. When the prison guards heard this, they thought of the bloodthirsty figure. His face turned pale, his legs trembled, and he broke out in a cold sweat. Shiryu, the chief warden, has always liked to kill prisoners indiscriminately and has not listened to advice many times. He still goes his own way. He was suppressed by Magellan, the unbearable director of prisons. Imprisoned in the eternal hell on the sixth floor. The situation is urgent, and he is temporarily exempted from the death penalty. Magellan said solemnly. He didn't want to release Shiryu an uneasy element, unless necessary. But impel down, with him and Shiryu of Rain in charge, is the real ironclad wall. Moreover, the guy from Golden Lion may have directly used Lion Fruit's ability to send the entire impel down into the air. He must be prepared for the worst. Only hundreds of meters in the air were seen. The huge floating sky island and the floating impel down are close together. Kai. Dot Kai. Ah and Golden Lion Shiki took action directly. Haniabal, Domino and others haven't had time to take action yet. He was already overwhelmed by the blazing sword energy and fell down screaming. They were half-hearted and could not block such an attack. Gia ha ha ha, these jailer beasts are quite interesting. Golden Lion Shiki narrowed his eyes as he looked at the jailer beasts lying in a pool of blood, struggling there, looking like humans and beasts. These are the zone demon fruit powers that have been awakened, and their resilience is exaggerated. Wait until Magellan rides the elevator. When we rushed to the first floor, we saw a large number of prison guards, including Haniabal and others, lying in a pool of blood. The pupils shrank sharply, and the canthus of the eyes was about to burst. Shiki, Shusha, one figure after another. We arrived at the entrance of Impel Down one after another. Rob Lucci, DJ Yin Apu, Hawkins, Lafitte, Buggies and others made Magellan's face change dramatically. But what made him freeze even more? It was the tall silver white figure that came slowly and slowly. Recognize the other party, dragon slaying samurai, Shimotsuki Ryoma. The monster that killed the celestial dragons and the admiral of headquarters Kazaru, with a bounty of five billion belly. Marine has received the news, don't waste time. Ryoma ignored Magellan who was blocking the front, but couldn't help but sweat, and kept walking. Gia ha ha, be careful. This guy has the ability of the poison fruit. His whole body is full of poison. He may die if he gets even a little bit of it. Golden Lion Shiki was also there to remind Ryoma, Rob Lucci and others not to go too far, main idea. In a small and limited space like Impel Down, Magellan's ability is indeed very difficult. Dragon Slaying Samurai, Shimotsuki Ryoma, and Golden Lion Shiki. Looking at the figure in front of me who walked over casually without deliberately releasing his momentum, it was so overwhelming that he couldn't help but have a terrifying figure that he couldn't overcome. Such a monster is simply despairing. Not to mention that although they are old, they have a wild momentum and cannot be ignored. Golden Lion and others are there. Taking a deep breath, suppressing his trembling mind, Magellan looked resolutely. 
Dark blue venom began to flow all over his body, and he gritted his teeth and shouted in a deep voice, even at the risk of my Magellan's life and impelled down's reputation, I will never let you. But the words were not spoken. Suddenly the hairs on his body stood up and he was about to retreat. The pupils suddenly dilated. A terrifying figure had already rushed in front of him. Bang, bang, bang. A big hand that could not resist grabbed his head and smashed through the thick walls one after another. There were constant loud noises and flying smoke. Dead silence. Jaw dropping. Even those jailer beasts whose abilities had awakened, but for some reason only had their ferocious instincts left could not help but break out in cold sweat and tremble in fear. His complexion changed drastically. Stay out of the way. Ryoma didn't even look at Magellan who was covered in blood, his eyes turned white, and he was almost unconscious. Five powerful fingers, like steel claws, clasped his head. Crack, click, the pressure caused Magellan's skull to crack. It's bloody and scary. Ah, Magellan's face was distorted, and he was screaming in pain. His eyes were bulging out and covered with bloodshot eyes. With complex expressions of fear, despair, unwillingness, resentment, etc., he stared at the man in front of him who was so strong that it made people shudder and had a cold face. It was as if the figure in front of him was imprinted deep in his soul. Finally lost consciousness and passed out. Marshal D. Teach, Magician Hawkins, Monk Rouge and others were chilled by the sight. I couldn't help but swallow my saliva, and my scalp felt numb. As if nothing had happened, he threw Magellan's half-dead body towards Marshal D. Teach and the others. Bang! Magellan, who was covered in blood and his head was cracked, hit him hard. The ground shook, accompanied by a splash of venom. Jean Luo, Lu Chi, Capone Beige and others could not help but avoid snakes and scorpions, and got out of the way immediately. Leave it to you, teach, by the way, strip out the abilities of those jailer beasts. Aren't you afraid of Magellan's poison? Looking at Ryoma who was completely fine, Golden Lion Shiki's pupils shrank, his color changed a little, and he felt cold. How terrible Magellan's poison is, no one knows better than him, who has spent two years in Impel Down. Unexpectedly, Ryoma would ignore it, directly touch the extremely poisonous Magellan, and strike forcefully. Directly severely injuring this poisonous man, and it seemed that he was not affected by the poison at all and remained unscathed. Ha ha, Lord Ryoma, leave it to me. Blackbeard, who had been fitted with prosthetic limbs at some point and was walking with a slight limp, seemed to have completely assumed the role of Ryoma's subordinate without any resistance. He grinned with gapped teeth and a strange black smoke billowing from his body. Staring at the half-dead Magellan with a ferocious smile. Chapter 61 Naval Headquarters, Marineford At this moment, 100,000 elites gathered, ready to attack, full of murderous intent. The atmosphere was depressing. In front of the world's attention, Naval Headquarters Marshal Buddha Sengoku climbed onto the execution platform and accepted the loudspeaker phone bug sent by Marine personnel. Today, I want to announce something about the significance of the public execution of Fire Fist, Portgas D. Ace, the captain of the Whitebeard Pirates 2nd Division. Sengoku's words made all Marine personnel, and even the civilians, nobles, reporters, and pirates around the world who were watching through the live broadcast of the phone bug, couldn't help but be surprised. Buddha Sengoku stared coldly at Fire Fist Ace who was kneeling there, waiting for the death penalty with an expressionless expression as if he had resigned himself to his fate. Say your father's name, Portgas D. Ace. Fire Fist Ace was shocked. But he still responded expressionlessly, My dad is Whitebeard. He would never admit that that man never brought him any warmth or fatherly love, but only brought him misfortune and darkness. He was burdened with sin from the moment he was born. The whole world wished that his devilish bloodline should not exist. The man who hopes he will die immediately, Pirate King Roger Gall D. Roger is his father. No, that's not right. Nothing's wrong, my dad is only Whitebeard and no one else. We searched all over the world but could not find, your mother, Portgas D. Rouge, that scheming woman who deceived the eyes of the world. Sengoku's voice was sonorous and powerful, announcing to the world, Fire Fist Ace, your father is the Pirate King, Gaul D. Roger. What, devil's bloodline, is that guy's bloodline still alive? Didn't we already kill all the people related to Pirate King Roger back then? This is big news around the world. The whole place was shocked. Most people couldn't believe it and couldn't help but scream out. 
Even Gecko Moria, Doflamingo and other seven warlords of the sea were all surprised and couldn't believe it. No one expected that Roger, the pirate king back then, would still be alive. Moreover, he also became the captain of the second division of the Whitebeard Pirates. If I leave you alone, relying on the sinful blood flowing in your body, sooner or later you will show your qualifications to stand at the top of the new generation of pirates and become a huge disaster. On the execution platform, the tall Buddha Sengoku said loudly and loudly, for this reason, even if we go to war with the Whitebeard Pirates, we must eliminate the threat of you, the devil's bloodline, in the bud. Oh oh oh. The whole place was boiling. 100,000 elite marines felt their blood boiling. Holding weapons, they all shouted loudly, responding to, justice. The momentum was overwhelming, and the scene was indescribably shocking. But this time, Branu, Marine Marshal Sengoku's adjutant, was extremely anxious. He walked around under the execution platform and looked up from time to time. But it was not easy to go directly and interrupt Marshal Sengoku's impassioned pre-war speech to boost his own morale. What's the matter? Suru Vice Admiral frowned and asked Branu. The hero Garp, who had a complex expression and was struggling in his heart, couldn't help but look over. Crane Vice Admiral, Vice Admiral Garp, bad. Branu was sweating profusely and shouted hurriedly, there is news from Impel Down. The Golden Lion Shiki destroyed the Gate of Justice and invaded Impel Down. What, Golden Lion Shiki, that guy? Hearing this, Vice Admiral Crane and Garp the hero couldn't help but change their expressions. Garp's face was full of shock and anger, he clenched his fists and gritted his teeth and said, it happened to be at this time, that restless guy. The people imprisoned in Impel Down are all extremely vicious criminals. If those guys were released by Golden Lion Shiki, it is impossible to imagine what the consequences would be. The Gate of Justice was actually destroyed. Crane Vice Admiral frowned, having a bad feeling for no reason. As a Marine senior officer, she knew better than anyone how unshakable the Gate of Justice was. Paramisha Lion Fruit's ability is impossible to destroy. Because the Door of Justice is infiltrated with sea stone material. Normal Devil Fruit abilities don't work at all. Garp. Crane Vice Admiral looked at Garp. Currently, he is the only one with the highest combat power that Marine can use. Do you need me to help? A ferocious-looking Marine general wearing a Marine Justice cloak and a purple robe underneath came over and volunteered. On his forehead, staggered scars ran through his eyes. It turns out he is a blind man, and his military rank is Vice Admiral of the Naval Headquarters. Apparently he heard Branu's conversation. Mr. Yi Shao. Branu stood at attention and saluted. Recognizing the opponent as the blind samurai with monster-like power who was promoted to naval headquarters Vice Admiral by Marine Marshal Sengoku, codenamed, Fujitora, he smiled. Crane Vice Admiral, Garp raised his eyebrows, but he did not expect Fujitora to take the initiative to ask for help. However, they have no doubts about the opponent's strength. Especially Garp, who was once sent by Sengoku to examine the opponent's strength. I know very well how exaggerated Fujitora's power is, and he deserves the word, monster. My ability can quickly send Mr. Garp there, Fujitora said directly. He also knew how much harm would be caused to the sea if the extremely vicious prisoners imprisoned in Impel Down were released. No, you can't leave without permission, Fujitora. After thinking twice, Vice Admiral he said in a deep voice, Impel down, there is Magellan there, and at the worst, they can release the imprisoned guard Changame Shiryu. If Garp can get there in time, it shouldn't be a problem. She is well aware of Garp's strength. The title of marine hero is not for nothing. Others may have drastically declined in strength as they age, but this guy is a complete exception and an out-and-out -out monster. And if Garp himself stayed here, it would probably not be of much help and would only make him suffer more. After all, Fire Fist Ace was his adopted grandson who he had raised for many years, and he had already treated him as his own grandson. At that time, the position may be shaken by Fire Fist Ace, so it would be best to go directly to the recommended town to defeat Golden Lion. And here at Naval Headquarters, the situation we face may be complex, and nothing can go wrong. Pluton Rayleigh, who had retired to the Sabayati Archipelago, also disappeared. Just yesterday, even the Red Hair Pirates, who were originally monitored by Marine in the New World, also lost news. This battle is about the majesty of Marine and World Government and must not be lost. 
Otherwise, not only will the prestige of marine and world government be destroyed, but the maritime situation will further deteriorate and plunge into unprecedented turmoil. The situation may even be worse than the turmoil caused by the opening of the Great Pirate Era when Marine publicly executed the Pirate King Roger in Logue Town 22 years ago. Xiaohei, let me rush there first. Looking deeply at Fire Fist Ace above, Garp suddenly turned his head. He pulled the tie around his neck and looked in the direction of the Gate of Justice. His struggling eyes turned firm, especially the villains imprisoned on the sixth floor of Impel Down, we must not let them escape from Impel Down down. Immediately order the door of justice to be opened and ask Aokiji to freeze the sea. Calm belt, huge impel down, life is suspended in the sky. And on the sixth underground level, eternal hell. Cold, dark, rancid, and full of depression. Several uniformed prison guards came here tremblingly and removed the handcuffs of Shiryu Rain, who was imprisoned here for indiscriminately killing prisoners. Shiryu of the Rain, who was originally wearing prison uniform, changed back to the long-lost sergeant uniform. The leading prison guard looked at the figure in front of him with awe and carefully lit a cigar for him. Warden Shiryu, Director Magellan said that as long as you suppress the Golden Lion invading Impel Down, you will be temporarily exempted from the prison sentence. Offense. Golden Lion, that guy hacked Impel Down. That didn't even want to let Lousy go. What does that guy want to do now? inside the originally silent prison. It started to get noisy, and the criminals who were so vicious and had been detained here for so long that they had almost forgotten the time started to get excited. Especially those criminals who had been imprisoned for more than 20 years were gritting their teeth. This is your knife. The guards ignored the lawless prisoners. A red and white, somewhat ornate Tachi was sent to the guard Chan game no Shiryu who had regained his freedom. It's been a long time. He bit his cigar and took a deep breath. Shiryu of Rain holds his beloved sword, the famous sword Thunderstorm, in both hands. Just smile, kanglanglang, accompanied by the teeth-searing sound of drawing a knife. The scarlet blade is brilliant and dazzling, seeming to illuminate the dark eternal hell. Kai, ah, a blazing cold light flashed. One prison guard screamed and fell into a pool of blood. Help him suppress the golden lion. I have been imprisoned in this dark place for so long, and I haven't settled the debt with him yet. The sharp and mysterious scarlet blade was dripping with blood. Rain Shiryu sneered. GG, Shiryu of the rain, well done. Let me out too. Ha ha ha, as long as you let me go, I will follow you. Shiryu, let me out, let's take over the world together. I've had enough of this place. That garb, I'm going to kill him. Let me go, I'm going to take down Whitebeard's head. Clang, clang, clang. Comma. With the rain Shiryu kills those prison guards. The criminals in eternal hell seemed to have seen the light of hope, and they were extremely excited and shouted there. There was a clanking sound of handcuffs, shackles, and chains. Some prisoners even banged on the iron door, trying to attract the attention of Amano Shiryu. For a time, the noise here was so noisy that it was impossible to hear what the criminals were saying. Save you, Shiryu of the rain sneered. Hey, dream on. He had no intention of releasing the other prisoners and walked directly towards the impelled down elevator without looking back. Of course he knew that each of these extremely vicious guys were more arrogant and lawless than the last, and it was impossible for them to surrender to him. In order to be rescued, he just said nice things. If he really believed it, he would be extremely stupid. Rumble. The whole prison was in tremors. At the location of the elevator, the wall twisted and rolled violently. Many criminals who were unprepared and were about to yell at Shiryu of the rain who was unwilling to save them fell to pieces. Rain's Shiryu couldn't help but shrink his pupils and became alert. What happened? That is, at this time, under everyone's shocked and incomprehensible eyes. It turned directly into a dark, bottomless circular pit. From top to bottom, at this time, bang, a corpse covered in blood fell down from the empty elevator. It was smashed to a bloody pulp. His eyes were wide-eyed, like an evil ghost. If not Director Magellan in Impel Down, who is he? At some point, it has lost its breath of life. Magellan. Rain Shiryu's pupils shrank sharply. I'm feeling chilly. How long has it been? The strongest person in Impel Down was killed directly. The corpses were thrown directly from above. What, Magellan? Is that guy dead? Did that guy from Golden Lion do it? You're doing really well. 
I've long been unhappy with this loser who has diarrhea every day. A good death, comma, inside eternal hell. A large number of people were shocked and inexplicable. Some criminals, some even more gloating about their misfortune, laughed. Magellan's poison had made them suffer a lot in the past, but now that they saw this guy being killed and died in such a miserable state, they were undoubtedly a little angry. Boom, there were bursts of loud noises in the huge dark passage. A large disc, several times larger than the elevator, descended from the passage as if it was dug out of the wall. A dozen figures of various shapes appeared in front of Shiryu of the rain and the criminals. Gia ha ha ha, golden lion Shiki's arrogant laughter echoed here, eternal hell, it's been such a long time. But Shiryu of rain is not paying attention to golden lion. But for the first time, he stared intently at that formidable figure. Just standing there gave people an invincible sense of oppression, and the silver white figure that no one could despise. He even recognized the autumn water on his waist. Although he was imprisoned in the dark eternal hell, he had already heard the news that the former, dragon-slaying samurai, Shimotsuki Ryoma was resurrected and directly killed the celestial dragons and Admiral Kazaru. Kuroto Shisui, are you the rumored resurrected, dragon-slaying samurai, Shimotsuki Ryoma? Looking at the young and stalwart man in front of him, Reign of the Rain Shiryu felt a little incredulous. But when he looked into those sharp eyes that seemed to see through everything, even a strong man like him couldn't help but start to tremble. As a swordsman, he should be happy to see such a legendary swordsman. But at this moment, Shiryu of Rain was shocked to find that he did not dare to draw his sword in front of the opponent, and he had the illusion that he might be killed instantly. Unnatural cold sweat. What a terrifying monster this is. What, Shimotsuki Ryoma, as the world's greatest swordsman hundreds of years ago still alive. The legendary dragon-slaying warrior is so young. Is it true? Jia ha ha, the world's greatest swordsman in the past. Let me out quickly, I want to challenge him. Those criminals were extremely noisy. The violent impact on the cell door was enough to make one's eardrums burst. It's noisy. The dull-faced Ryoma glanced at the excited and noisy prisoners, and his eyes suddenly froze. Buzz, the next moment. An unparalleled, domineering and violent wave of unparalleled waves directly impacted the entire impelled down prison. Boom, boom, click, click, an incredibly thick, unshakable wall. It was torn apart by the shock, and spider-web-like cracks appeared. They were densely packed and scary. Bang, bang, bang. One after another, the embarrassed figures were violently blown away. He hit the cell wall hard and vomited blood one after another. All the prisoners, including the warden Changame Shiryu, were shocked. Looking at the horrifying silver-white figure in horror, he couldn't help but feel suffocated, and cold sweat fell down. What's more, in the dark cell, several figures who had originally heard the name of the dragon-slaying warrior and looked over with expressionless expressions could not help but shrink their eyes and change their colors. Is he being frozen and imprisoned there? The huge observation hockey envelopes the entire eternal hell. He didn't even look at the frightened prisoners, and even ignored, Red Earl, Ryder and other monsters who had been imprisoned here for many years. Ryoma, who looked indifferent, walked straight to the deepest part of eternal hell without stopping. Deep in the eternal hell, the chill is overwhelming. Each cell was covered in frost, and everything inside was sealed with ice. Faintly, one can see figures that have lost their life breath one after another, or have weak life fluctuations. Ryoma stopped in front of a cell door in the deepest part. His eyes were fixed on the looming figure sealed inside by the ice. His exaggerated observation hockey can hear the faint but fierce and joyful heartbeat. Golden Lion Shiki, Capone Beige, Rob Lucci, Blackbeard and others can't help but be a little surprised. Shiryu of the Rain, who followed her out of curiosity, shrank her pupils sharply and was a little shocked, are you here for her? As the warden of Impel Down, he certainly knows what kind of beings are imprisoned here. Only with their status, they are qualified to know that the person imprisoned inside is a monster that has been frozen in suspended animation for hundreds of years without dying. Is this the purpose of Ryoma's invasion of Impel Down? Who is imprisoned here? Shiryu of Rain. Seeing Ryoma like this, Golden Lion couldn't help but be surprised and ask directly to Shiryu of the Rain. After seeing the killed prison guards and hearing that this guy was imprisoned by Magellan, 
he knew that Shiryu of Rain had most likely betrayed the world government, so he didn't take direct action against him. I heard it's Amazon Lilies, Vampire Queen, Medusa. Shiryu of the Rain took a deep breath and spoke in a deep voice, a monster that has not died for hundreds of years and whose existence has been erased from history by the world government. What? Hiss. Another monster that has been immortal for hundreds of years. No wonder Ryoma Sama wanted to go to Amazon Lily earlier. Rob Lucci, Blackbeard Teach, Capone Beige, Jewelry Bonnie and others were all shocked and looked at the vaguely beautiful figure frozen inside in disbelief. No one would have thought of it, except Ryoma himself. In that era, there were still people who survived to this day. His deep and steady gaze condensed slightly. It seemed like he had foreseen something. Boom, Ryoma's palm directly focused on the recovered armament hockey and hit the cell door directly. In eternal hell, the tremors continued. Crack, click, click. In the gaze of Golden Lion et al. Not only did the ice cubes inside shatter, but the prison door, which was made of sea stone material and was strong and indestructible, broke and collapsed inch by inch. The beautiful figure frozen inside was revealed. A figure whose complexion was a bit pale due to being frozen for a long time, but was beautiful, appeared in front of them. She has long aqua blue hair, a blue chongsam, and crystal high heeled shoes. Like a sleeping beauty, eyes tightly closed, noble and inviolable. Very different from other criminals wearing prison uniforms. It's a bit incredible. The only drawback is that her whole body is handcuffed with ugly sea stone handcuffs. Bang! Ryoma entangled Senior Hockey's right hand and crushed the heavy chain cuff to him with his bare hands. Brush. The next moment, under the gaze of Khalifa and others, her icy eyelashes trembled slightly. A pair of jewel-like eyes slowly opened. The eyes were crystal clear and cold, as if they could freeze the atmosphere, making people afraid to look directly. Buzz, an unparalleled and astonishing conqueror's hockey suddenly emitted. Not only Rob Lucci and others, but even strong men like Blackbeard and Shiryu of the Rain could not help but feel the hair on their backs, sweating, and feeling great pressure. Woohoohoo, woohoohoo. The violent wind pressure blew away all the ice and rocks. Her aqua blue hair is flying, and her chongsam is hunting. Husband, she looked at the familiar silver white figure in front of her with beautiful eyes and smiled directly. Incredibly beautiful, because the technology hundreds of years ago was not what it is now. Although she was said to be imprisoned in a frozen state of suspended animation, for her, she could actually clearly feel the movement of the outside world all the time, and could even feel the passage of time. That is a punishment that ordinary people cannot imagine. If he were an ordinary person, he would definitely go crazy and have a mental breakdown. She had already known about Ryoma's resurrection before, but due to being cuffed by sea stone chains, her whole body was directly frozen and unable to move. I knew you wouldn't abandon me. The beautiful figure stretched out her pale and cold right hand, caressing Ryoma's majestic face like a knife. Her beautiful eyes showed endless tenderness, and tears of joy flowed from her smiling eyes. Medusa had long been known from the Shimotsuki family. Ryoma once got the op op fruit and underwent the legendary, ageless surgery, thing. He always believed that the other party might not be dead. But she tried her best to awaken the immortal and lifelike dragon and horse. Be good, don't cry. Ryoma stared at that beautiful and familiar face, and said with a smile, there is no one in this sea who can kill me. But suddenly, his eyes narrowed. Medusa, the former queen of nine snakes, had her hair hanging down to her waist, but it had begun to turn grey at some point. She was about to say something when she immediately noticed the strangeness of her body after it was freed from the ice, and her pretty face couldn't help but change slightly. Brush, the figure flew out like a ghost, showing a terrifying murderous aura. He immediately grabbed Khalifa, who was nearest and defenseless. Wait, Medusa, observation hockey was extremely tyrannical. Ryoma, who had foreseen the future scene, was faster and grabbed Medusa's hand that started to turn into a ferocious claw-like lightning. The beautiful claws with sharp nails were only a few centimeters away from grabbing Khalifa's neck. The beautiful CP9 agent's pretty face turned pale and she was sweating profusely. Sir Ryoma, this, Rob Lucci, Kaku, Jabra and other former CP9 members couldn't help but change their colors. She couldn't help but glare at Medusa who suddenly attacked her friend Khalifa, full of vigilance but even more uneasy. Husband, I, Medusa frowned slightly, 
her beautiful eyes looking helplessly at Ryoma. After being frozen for too long, the vitality has already passed away unconsciously. After breaking away from the frozen state, if you don't use the ability of the phantom beast, bat fruit, and vampire form to plunder, youth, your appearance will soon change. Got old. She didn't want to show her aging appearance in front of the person she loved most. As for the blood of the ugly and smelly prisoners in the eternal hell, she was a little disdainful to suck it. I understand what you are going to do. Ryoma shook his head and patted Khalifa, who was pale and frightened by Medusa's previous actions, to comfort him. Ignoring the others who were full of surprise and astonishment, he directly ordered to Capone Bej. Bej, bring out the cipher pole female spy that Shaki sent to the castle to be imprisoned a few days ago. Yes, Lord Ryoma. Ah, the shrill screams echoed in eternal hell. It brought a bit of unspeakable terror to this gloomy, dark and depressing space. Under the horrifying gazes of Rob Lucci, Blackbeard Teach, Shiryu of Rain, Jewelry Bonnie and others, a young cipher pole female agent who had been captured and imprisoned by Golden Lion Shaki in the past was sucked dry of her blood in front of them. It ages and shrivels up at a speed visible to the naked eye, until it turns into a mummy that has lost the breath of life. I feel cold and my scalp is numb. Gulu. Only then did Khalifa's face turn pale. He had just stepped on the verge of death and almost turned into an aging mummy. I saw Medusa's beautiful and cold figure. Her skin, which had become extremely pale due to being frozen for many years, began to regain its rosiness, full of youthful vitality, and seemed to be broken by a blow. Under the dark blue Chongsam, her proud figure is perfectly highlighted. Every frown and every smile is beautiful and moving. But at this moment, except for Ryoma himself, even the golden lion looked at this terrifying, vampire queen, with some fear. Have you almost recovered? Ryoma asked. The look in Medusa's eyes showed an unbelievable gentleness. Even though he had witnessed the scene just now from beginning to end, he did not dislike her at all. To be honest, Ryoma had to be lucky that the other party had found the devil fruit in the form of a vampire that he had mentioned a few words to. Otherwise, he might have to face an ancient withered building in Amazon Lily now. The tomb is empty, and it may even be a burial tomb. Ha, huh, after being frozen for too long, my body's functions are a bit rigid. Bloodline wiped the corner of his mouth and asked for a cup of tea from Capone Beige, the Paramisha Capone Beige who was sweating coldly and full of restraint. Medusa blinked her beautiful eyes, smiled at Ryoma who didn't have any disdain in her eyes, and said, finally recovered. That's good. Ryoma nodded with satisfaction. His eyes finally looked at Shiryu of the Rain, who had been watching from the side, a little embarrassed, and wanted to leave but had some scruples. Shiryu, the former warden of Impel Down, is pretty good. With his shuddering eyes like a blade, he stared at Shiryu of the Rain who was trying his best to maintain his composure, and asked calmly, How? This so-called world's largest deep-sea prison is destined to be destroyed, will you follow me again? Seeing the likes of Rob Lucci, Capone Beige, and even Golden Lion Shaki seemed to have Ryoma in the lead. Shiryu of the Rain is very self-aware and knows that his talents and strength are limited and he cannot achieve anything famous. He can only rely on the strong. After feeling how terrible the other party is, I have long had the idea of following the other party. Not to mention that there is now an equally terrifying monster beside Shimotsuki Ryoma, the vampire queen from Amazon Lily who has been frozen and imprisoned by the world government for hundreds of years. Following a man like this is better than following the other four emperors. If I continue to stay in world government, I will have no future. Without any hesitation, Shiryu of the Rain simply knelt down on one knee, put his right hand across his chest and saluted, and said with a smile, I have been waiting for a man like you. It is an honor to serve you, Ryoma Sama. Rob Lucci, Blackbeard, Hawkins and other personnel looked strange. But not unexpected. Looking at the diametrically opposite attitudes between Shiryu and Magellan, the director of Impel Down, we know that the other person is not very loyal to the world government or a person who upholds justice. Only Blackbeard's eyes flickered. A little regret and helplessness flashed through my heart. Because, if Ryoma hadn't suddenly appeared, according to his original plan, he was going to take advantage of the battle between the naval headquarters and the Whitebeard pirates and had no time to break into Impel Down and escape from being imprisoned in the sixth floor of Eternal Hell. Among the prisoners, the strongest criminals were selected as subordinates. 
If nothing unexpected happens, the guard Chan game no Shiryu, who is known as the two aces of Impel Down, together with Magellan, may very well become his partner or subordinate. Now, everything is ruined. But as soon as he had such an idea, he quickly woke up and didn't dare to think about it anymore. Marshall D. Teach has already experienced Ryoma's extremely exaggerated observation hockey, but he doesn't dare to try it again. Otherwise, all the previous efforts to show one's loyalty and please the other party may be in vain. Shiki, Luchi, go and release all those guys who are still alive and kicking. Ryoma ordered directly to Golden Lion Shiki, Rob Luchi and others. Gia ha ha ha, let them all out directly. Golden Lion Shiki's pupils shrank. In this sixth floor, there are some quite troublesome guys imprisoned. It is basically impossible to expect them to be obedient and obedient, and they will probably cause trouble. However, he just carried out Ryoma's orders directly. Anyway, those guys couldn't possibly fight against this complete monster. Regardless of the golden lion who left with Rob Luchi and others, he looked at Shiryu of the Rain and asked, You are the warden of Impel Down. You should know very well what devil fruit abilities these guys imprisoned in ice have. Bar. His observation hockey can directly judge the strength of these criminals who are locked up in ice and still have the breath of life. Except that one of them has a more violent and powerful aura, which is probably the world destroyer, Burndy World. Others were just so-so, nothing noteworthy. He mainly doesn't want to miss out on those rare devil fruit abilities. Of course. Although he was a little confused about Ryoma's question, Shiryu of the Rain still responded with a confident smile. After all, he stayed in Impel Down for many years before being imprisoned by that guy Magellan. Naturally, he knew exactly what kind of characters were imprisoned in Eternal Hell, and he still had some general information. I have always been clear about rewards and punishments. As a reward for your understanding of current affairs, Ryoma was very satisfied with the attitude of Shiryu of Rain who was willing to follow him without hesitation and followed his own lead. He pointed to Blackbeard who was standing by. After screening out all the ability users who were imprisoned in ice, inside this impel down, if you like the ability of any guy, just tell Teach directly. Um, when Shiryu heard this, his face was filled with astonishment. He looked at Ryoma in surprise, and couldn't help but look at Marshall D. Teach who looked plain and had two prosthetic legs. Shiryu of Rain, you are in luck. Khalifa snorted and reminded with envy, Teach's dark fruit ability is very weird. It can directly peel off other people's devil fruit. Thank you, Lord Ryoma. What? Decapacitation. When Shiryu of the Rain heard this, his pupils shrank sharply and he became speechless. He looked at Ryoma and Blackbeard in front of him with some disbelief, feeling inexplicably shocked. After demon fruit power dies, the power will turn into devil fruit again and regenerate randomly in a corner of the world. This is common sense. He has never heard of any method that can directly seize demon fruit power. Although I was still a little skeptical about such an exaggerated thing, I thought that Ryoma obviously didn't need to make such a joke with him. Thinking of this, Shiryu's eyes couldn't help but become hot. If Blackbeard can really deprive others of their abilities, then according to Ryoma's wishes, wouldn't he be able to obtain any of the rare devil fruit abilities and impel down? Thank you Ryoma-sama. Not long. In eternal hell, things started to get noisy as Golden Lion Shiki began to release the prisoners. Medusa, Khalifa and others couldn't help but frown. The frozen area deep in impel down. One by one, the ability users who were imprisoned in ice were screened out, but they were imprisoned for too long, but they were not as lucky as Medusa. They basically fell into a deep sleep and have not yet woken up. Even if you wake up, your body's functions will not recover so quickly in a short period of time. Including the, World Destroyer, Burndy World, they were all sent to the castle in Capone Bedge's body and imprisoned centrally. Anyway, their limbs were locked with sea stone handcuffs, so these guys couldn't make any noise. A corpse covered in blood fell there. Brush, brush. A dark figure was like lightning, flickering there. The speed is ridiculously fast. His figure was all over the entire passage in an instant, as if he was teleporting. The pupils of Capone, 670, Beige, Hawkins and others shrank sharply, making them unable to react. There was only Ryoma and Medusa beside him. His face was calm, as if he wasn't surprised at all. Not long after, the figure stopped, and it was Shiryu of the Rain. 
It's such a powerful ability. He held a cigar in his mouth with a slightly excited smile, and was very satisfied with the devil fruit ability he had obtained. It seemed that he was with the right person. As soon as he came up, he gave himself such an amazing gift for taking refuge. Paramisha flash fruit. Within a short distance, teleportation can be directly achieved. Appear anywhere in the direction sensed by its own observation hockey. With his strong swordsmanship skills and his unpredictable teleportation ability, his combat power has reached a new level. Thank you very much, Lord Ryoma, I really got a good ability. After the excitement, he bowed to Ryoma again and followed him and Medusa in a smart way. Shiryu of Rain is not so powerful that he thinks he can challenge Ryoma, the dragon-slaying samurai. The unfathomable vampire queen alone gives him a fatal danger. However, it is indeed an exaggeration. Dark fruit can actually deprive others of their abilities. Looking at Blackbeard Marshal D. Teach, who had previously used Dark Fruit's special ability to deprive himself of the prisoner's Devil Fruit ability, he was a little surprised, and even more inexplicably a little afraid. Having personally experienced the power of Blackbeard's Dark Fruit, which can deprive others of their Devil Fruit abilities, he is even more looking forward to the future of this team. Apart from world government and naval headquarters, there is no other force that can compete with such an exaggerated combination of camps. Paramisha Flash Fruit it's really good. Ryoma nodded slightly and walked out of the noisy passage. Is Shiryu of rain fast? Very quickly, because that's true teleportation. However, no matter how fast the speed is, one must have enough reaction ability to match that speed in order to truly play its role. Not to mention his observation hockey, a monster who is so exaggerated that he can foresee the future. Medusa alone relies on her quite strong observation hockey and her super high reaction ability to calmly deal with Shiryu of the rain after the Paramisha flash fruit ability and even defeat him easily. Although I don't know what this husband wants to do. But Medusa, the cold and charming queen, is still as trusting and supportive as ever. He didn't mean to interrupt and followed Ryoma quietly. Blackbeard, Shiryu of rain and others also followed. Gia Gia, Lousy finally came out. Ha ha ha, this chain is finally free. I thought I was going to die here, hey. Golden Lion, well done. Dragon slaying samurai Shimotsuki Ryoma, is he real or fake? Is the character from hundreds of years ago really still alive? Lousy has had enough of this hellish place. When you go out, you must go to Happy Street to have a good time. Ha ha ha, those women are very good at martial arts, you're so small, you might die suddenly. Don't curse Lousy in a passage that is not very spacious. It was filled with prisoners of various shapes and fierce faces. They were all wearing black and white striped prison uniforms, and most of them had sallow complexions. Many of them even had injuries on their bodies because they were frequently tortured. The vast majority of pirates would not just put all their treasures on the boat. Usually they would find an island secretly, leave a special mark, bury the treasure inside, and even find ways to get rid of those who knew about it. Keep a treasure map for yourself so you don't forget where the treasure is buried in the future. The world government is still very interested in the location of these extremely vicious and lawless pirates who burn, kill, and plunder, and where the huge treasures accumulated over the years, including devil fruit, are located. These pirates were often tortured and tortured, forcing them to reveal the whereabouts of the treasures. Gia ha ha ha, you losers, please calm down for lousy. When Ryoma came out with Medusa and others, Golden Lion Shiki was scolding him harshly. It has to be said that the prestige of the Golden Lion is still very high, even the most vicious pirates have to recognize this legendary pirate. Especially the Golden Lion back then, not only had the rudder stuck on its head, but also cut off its legs to escape from prison, but now it is back to its original state. For a time, the noisy prison began to gradually become quieter. These pirates are not stupid, they naturally know that the main event is coming. There is no such thing as a free lunch. Golden Lion and the others couldn't be so kind as to be so kind and just release all the prisoners like them without asking for anything in return. Among the noisy prisoners, several looked on with indifferent expressions. Arriving directly next to Shimotsuki Ryoma, the Golden Lion, who was chewing a cigar, looked at the fierce breathing prisoners present and said loudly, I would like to solemnly introduce you to him as the world's greatest swordsman, the dragon-slaying samurai, Shimotsuki Ryoma. 
Witnessing Shimotsuki Ryoma with his own eyes is astonishing. He can even open the door of justice that has been untouchable for hundreds of years. His frightening swordsmanship is so terrifying. In the eyes of Golden Lion Shiki, this, dragon-slaying samurai, he is the greatest swordsman in the world. There is no past or past. This is also the only one he recognizes as the world's greatest swordsman, and he is well-deserved. Just like, he admitted that he once relied on luck to win the title of, One Piece, from his gal Roger in the Battle of Atvul. What a mahawk and his ilk, let him go back and feed himself. Hiss, is this really the, dragon-slaying samurai, Shimotsuki Ryoma? Are you too young? It's hard to believe. It's incredible that people from hundreds of years ago are still alive today. Hey, that guy Golden Lion, since when did he become so good-tempered? Has that arrogant and arrogant lion been subdued? These prisoners all stared at the silver-white figure that was so imposing that no one dared to look down upon it. I couldn't help but be surprised. Although I still couldn't believe that the other party was the dragon-slaying samurai, from hundreds of years ago, the conqueror's previous feeling made people shudder and even crack the extremely solid wall in eternal hell. Hockey, they feel it deeply. But even more people noticed Golden Lion's attitude, their eyes looked strange, and they were a little surprised. No need to be polite or anything like that. Ryoma's face was calm and his eyes were sharp. Looking down at these prisoners who are not weak in strength, and there are even many people who are famous on the sea, whispering there. He glanced at the two or three people inside who had astonishing auras. I am a very direct person, and I convince others with my virtue. He said with a smile on his face, those who are willing to submit to me, stand on the left, and those who are unwilling, stand on the right. Surrender, stand on the left, stand on the right. Ryoma's direct words caused this group of usually lawless and unruly criminals to explode. Are you kidding me? Even if you are a dragon-slaying warrior, you can't make me surrender. Lousy is a man who wants to conquer the world, and he also wants to take Whitebeard's head. GG, thank you for saving Lousy, but I won't be grateful to you. Ryoma, the women around you are pretty good. If you reward me, I will follow you. Inside eternal hell, full of noise, chaos and irritation. But Ryoma smiled and just looked at these arrogant and unscrupulous criminals quietly. Golden Lion Shiki, Reign of Rain Shiryu, Blackbeard and others were all watching with cold eyes. Medusa, on the other hand, slightly narrowed her narrow and beautiful eyes, staring at those guys who couldn't control their eyes and mouths and dared to blaspheme her. The cold gaze made the prisoners' faces turn pale, they closed their mouths and sweat dropped. Brush, the next moment, a bloody afterimage flashed out. Most of the prisoners in the crowd didn't even react. Medusa has returned to her original position. On the hand, there are two more figures. Thumb, thumb. The two prisoners were choked by her with one hand. Sheng Sheng was lifted into the air, where he was struggling in fear. Under everyone's cold gazes, these two people became old and shriveled up at a speed visible to the naked eye. In the blink of an eye, they turned into two Qianhu with bulging eyes and a terrifying death state. She was thrown away indifferently. Hiss. The prisoners present could not help but gasp, their faces turned pale, and they were sweating profusely. Even Shiryu and Blackbeard of Rain couldn't help but feel a little chilled, seeing the strength of this legendary, vampire queen, once again. Among the prisoners, those who had been watching with cold eyes could not help but change their expressions slightly. These frightened prisoners began to stand on the left one after another. It represents the willingness to surrender, follow and serve the dragon horse. Gia ha ha, it's really scary. Is it possible that you still want to kill Lousy? With so many of us here, we are not afraid of you just coming back from the dead. But some people still sneered and stood in groups on the right. There were even some people who stood there without moving, expressionless, staring at Ryoma coldly. For a moment, in the passage of eternal hell, the two groups of people are clearly distinct. There were two people standing sparsely in the middle. Descendant of the devil, Douglas Bullet looked at Ryoma with unabashed fighting intent in his eyes, but at the moment he remained silent and sneered. The Red Earl, Baloric Redfield has white hair, an old but not stooped figure showing aloofness, and an expressionless face. But looking at Ryoma and Medusa, there was an indescribable strange look in their eyes. People hundreds of years ago could maintain such a youthful posture, but he has grown old. 
How enviable. Are you standing still? Ryoma looked at the clearly defined passage. Standing in the middle, indifferent, were, Red Earl, Redfield and, Devil's Descendant, Bullet. He was not surprised. There were one or two hundred people standing on the left. And there are fifty or sixty people on the right. What? You still want to force Lousy to give in? Hey, the world's greatest swordsman hundreds of years ago. Just what I want. After finally gaining freedom, how could we give up like this? It's so stupid to dare to release so many of us. Standing on the right, the leader of the fierce prisoners spoke with a sneer. They were all grinning there, with fierce and murderous auras. They were already on guard and ready to resist. No, it's not necessary. I don't have the energy to conquer you wastes one by one. Ryoma said calmly. And I said, conquer people with virtue. Kanglanglang. The next moment. The blue light is dazzling, and in this dark prison, people can't help but close their eyes. The silver-white figure disappeared in a flash. In an instant, he passed through the right camp, which contained dozens of people and was waiting for them. Shimotsuki Flo Tanyu. Ryoma held the dazzling blue blade in his hand, and he did not lose any blood. The cold voice echoed in the dark prison, the extremely sharp autumn god returned to the sheath without any delay. Kai, a blazing cold light flashed past. One after another, there are figures of prisoners dressed in black and white, with bulging eyes, full of horror and disbelief. On the chest, bright red blood flowers spattered out, blooming like swallows' feathers, so gorgeous that it shocked people. Ah, he screamed one after another and fell into a pool of blood. The prisoners who stood on the left and chose to surrender could not help but feel cold. The pupils of, Red Earl, Baloric Redfield and, Devil's Descendant, Douglas Bullet shrank sharply. After careful consideration, I had to choose, Sand Crocodile, Crocodile, one of the former seven warlords of the sea, standing on the left, Sea Knight, Jinbei, one of the seven warlords of the sea who has not yet been expelled, and the one who has never been a member of the seven warlords of the sea from the beginning. The, King of Evil, Abaro Pizarro, Big Wine, Basque Chode, Zanyu Hunter, Katerina Dupont and others who hesitated to choose to stand on the left also couldn't help but shrink their eyes. Cold Sweat. And Shiryu of the Rain, who was standing next to the Golden Lion, had blazing eyes. This knife was so fast that people couldn't react at all. He killed dozens of criminals who were imprisoned in the sixth floor of Eternal Hell in Impel Down with one knife. Even he with the ability of Paramisha Quick Flash Fruit was far from being able to achieve such an exaggerated level. This is the realm of swordsmanship that he yearns for and pursues diligently. While it's still cool, Shiryu, help identify Blackbeard and recycle all those devil fruit abilities. There's no need to waste them. Without even looking at the prisoners who were lying in a pool of blood and gradually losing their vitality, Ryoma gave instructions to Shiryu and Blackbeard of Rain. Yes, sir. Looking at those fallen figures, Shiryu of the Rain laughed. And Blackbeard didn't hesitate at all. He was full of awe for the man in front of him. Every time he saw Long Ma take action, he couldn't help but feel a little chilled, and couldn't think of daring to resist the other party. That ambition is firmly suppressed in my heart, and I don't even dare to think about it on weekdays. Afraid of being heard by Ryoma's terrifying observation hockey. The fear and trembling of this, dragon-slaying warrior, were imprinted deep in his soul. I have always given special treatment to monsters with outstanding strength. Previously, I gave Golden Lion a promise to restore its youth in exchange for his allegiance. Looking at Red Earl Redfield and Douglas Bullet who were qualified to be included in the ranks of monsters, Ryoma smiled and asked, what conditions do you two have? You might as well tell me, maybe I can really fulfill your wish. What, real or fake? Gulu, restore youth. Can such an exaggerated thing really be done? Hurry, help me regain my youth, I am willing to be loyal to you, Lord Ryoma. Me too, Lord Ryoma. The prisoners couldn't help but shrink their pupils and were inexplicably excited. In particular, many criminals were already very old when they were imprisoned, or they had been detained here for too long. Among these criminals, there are many with white hair and some in their 60s or 70s. In addition, in a place like Eternal Hell, they have been tortured all year round, poorly fed, and their physical functions have continued to decline. Their strength has long been reduced to what it used to be, leaving numerous injuries and illnesses. Even Blackbeard, Shiryu of Rain, 
crocodile and others couldn't help but have blazing eyes. Having not died for hundreds of years, Ryoma undoubtedly may have mastered some method of immortality, and can even restore the old pirate golden lion to his youthful appearance. Although they are still, young, they cannot escape the years. There will inevitably be a time when we grow old in the future. Who doesn't desire it? Trafalgar Law was shocked. At the beginning, he, Rob Lucci, and Capone Beige didn't know that Golden Lion Shaki was willing to surrender because of such conditions, but simply thought that he was defeated by Ryoma. Think about it, for legendary pirates like Golden Lion, what fear does death have for them? Ordinary means cannot threaten them at all. It's just that although Op Op Fruit's ultimate ability, aging surgery, can make people immortal, he is not sure whether it can restore people's youthful appearance. Ryoma's promise to Golden Lion to restore his youth should not be referring to him, the Op Op Fruit's ability user. Quiet, you losers, a shocking burst of conqueror's hockey. Woohoohoo, woohoohoo, the terrifying momentum aroused fierce wind pressure and swept many people out. The criminals with great strength could not help but feel their hair stand on end and sweat dripping down their faces. Looking at the tall and elegant figure with fear and inexplicable fear. I didn't let you speak so I shut up. The cold eyes looked at these criminals who were too excited and could not understand the situation. Medusa stood proudly in high heels, her eyes full of sarcasm. Didn't she hear her husband say, is that the kind of treatment only real, monsters, get? Their meager strength has no such value. Restore, youth, are you telling the truth? Red Earl, Redfield's eyes sharpened and he stared at Ryoma. Looking at Golden Lion Shaki in surprise, his proud expression turned into a little excitement. Indeed, he had never fought against Golden Lion before, so he naturally knew something about this guy. That extremely arrogant and arrogant lion is willing to ride for others, which is abnormal in itself. Gia ha ha ha, rider, are you excited? Golden Lion Shaki, who looked as usual and showed no resistance, laughed boldly and generously admitted that he was willing to obey Ryoma because he wanted to regain his, youth, are you, an arrogant old guy, also afraid of aging? How about it, I want to bet. A bet. If you don't recognize Ryoma's strength, he may resist, and even if he says it in public like this, he may be a little embarrassed. But now, this roaring lion is subtly changing because of his heart. At least, he doesn't think that he is qualified to challenge Ryoma, the real world's greatest swordsman. If you want to take a gamble, it's not impossible. Looking at Red Earl Rider, who was looking at him with burning eyes, Ryoma said calmly, however, I want to remind you that there is a risk of failure, and Shaki is already in front of you, you need to wait. Of course, you can leave on your own after failure. Clenching his fists that were wrinkled due to aging, Red Earl Rider's face was uncertain, full of entanglements and hesitations. Observation hockey is born with the ability to listen to other people's voices. He has been accustomed to the ugliness of people's hearts since he was a child. He is arrogant and has never been willing to associate with anyone. Therefore, he is called, aloof rider. Now, after all, I have succumbed to the power of time. Facing the temptation of, youth, my aloof heart began to waver. For a long time, he looked at the golden lion with a normal expression next to him, and then looked deeply at the unbelievably young and enviable, dragon-slaying samurai, Shimotsuki Ryoma. In the surprised eyes of Ryoma himself, Medusa, Golden Lion Shiki and others. With his withered right hand, Red Earl Rider took out a comic book from his prison uniform that he had read countless times and was already in disrepair. When I was young, I once heard the legend you left behind in West Blue in my hometown, that is, the world-famous comic strip had your story in it. The person I admired the most at that time was the character in that comic strip that I could never tire of reading. Legend has it that the, dragon-slaying samurai, can cut mountains and seas with just a swing of his sword. A forced smile appeared on that indifferent face, and he said, especially every time I see him slaying the evil dragon in the sky, and the shocking duel with the West Blue Swordmaster Cyrano, I am so excited. I can't help but feel excited, a little passionate, and full of yearning. Unlike Jerma, the image of, dragon-slaying samurai, Shimotsuki Ryoma in the comic strips is positive. But there is not even a word about its conflicts with the world government and marine. Moreover, one is only spread in North Blue, and the other is spread throughout the entire sea. The difference is obvious, 
Of course, Red Earl Rider idolizes the dragon-slaying samurai in the comic book image. It doesn't mean that he, who has always liked to be a loner and doesn't like forming alliances with others, is willing to surrender to the other party. Quote dot quote, I didn't expect that among my fans, there would be someone as strong as you. Ryoma raised an eyebrow. Unexpectedly, this guy is still his fan. The figure of the West Blue Sword Master flashed through my mind, and I felt a little inexplicable. That guy Cyrano was really strong back then, and he is indeed worthy of being called the West Blue Sword Master. Cyrano is a veritable great swordsman in West Blue. He became famous hundreds of years ago and has been regarded as the swordsman of West Blue for a long time. When he traveled to West Blue, he once had a life and death battle with the West Blue Sword Master in his prime. The battle lasted for three days and three nights before the winner was decided, and he was victorious. It is indeed a powerful enemy that he will remember deeply in his life so far. When I decided to go to sea, it was to imitate you, the dragon slaying warrior. Unfortunately, I failed and failed to become truly invincible like you. Looking at the living, dragon slaying warrior, in front of me, Shimotsuki Ryoma, Redfield's eyes were complicated, always feeling a little unreal and a little bitter. After all, there are differences between people. At that time, he was high spirited and full of confidence. Qian Zhao wanted to defeat all the strong men in this sea on his own and become the new world's greatest swordsman, and even the strongest in the world. Forty or fifty years ago, he met Rox, the unbelievably powerful ocean overlord. Later, he met monsters such as Golden Lion Shiki, Whitebeard Edward Newgate, and Gaul Roger. Even though he had defeated Kong, who was still Marine Marshal at the time and is now the Commander-in-Chief of the World Government, he was not able to defeat those strong men like Shimotsuki Ryoma did back then. He took a deep breath, and his troubled expression turned into determination. After all, he was unwilling to grow old silently like this. He slowly knelt there on one knee and lowered his arrogant head. Lord Ryoma, I am willing to obey your orders, but if you can't do it, I will leave directly. I believe you will not regret your choice today. Ryoma chuckled. He looked at Douglas Bullet, who had been watching with a cold eye, but his eyes were blazing, full of fighting spirit and arrogance, and his eyes were even more hysterical and crazy. How about you? At this time, the atmosphere in naval headquarters is solemn and depressing, filled with tension. Rumble, clatter, clatter. The originally tightly closed and magnificent door of justice. It slowly opened under the surprised and incomprehensible eyes of the hundreds of thousands of marine elites who were waiting for them. At some point, he had left the seat under the execution platform. Marine Admiral Aokiji appeared on the other side of Marineford with a solemn expression. He reached into the undulating sea water in front of him with one hand. Ice Age. I saw it for a moment. The astonishing cold air froze the turbulent sea water. The sea area leading to the gate of justice was frozen at a speed visible to the naked eye. Mr. Garp, I have frozen the sea surface. If you are far away, you should be able to reach Impel down directly. Please rush there as soon as possible. Exhaling a breath of cold air, Aokiji looked seriously at the prepared marine hero Garp. Okay, don't worry, leave it to me. Taking a deep look in the direction of naval headquarters Alice Square, Garp's tall figure, with a serious and determined expression on his face, stepped directly onto the ice. Running at an astonishing speed, he rushed towards the open door of justice. The door of justice is open. Look. Dot the sea is frozen. This is. Kuzan Admiral's ability. What's going on? Did something happen? For a while, many marines were talking about it. Don't understand what happened. Because after Marine Marshal Sengoku learned that Impel Down might be attacked by the Golden Lion Shiki, he directly suppressed the news and had no intention of announcing it at this time to avoid damaging the morale that his side had finally raised. Some knowledgeable naval headquarters general saw this. His face changed slightly, and he had a bad suspicion in his mind, and he was worried. In this huge vortex of ocean currents, there are always only two directions to open the door to justice. Even Mahawk, Gecko Moria and others were surprised. Nagging, 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 the door of justice at naval headquarters either leads to Eni's lobby, or to the world's largest deep-sea prison, Impel Down. Da Flamingo was full of fun, and said with a strange smile, in such a hurry, they didn't even send a warship, and directly froze the sea surface. 
could it be that something happened to the deep sea prison impel down, which is known as the iron wall? Quote, hearing this, Mahawk raised his eyebrows. Fire fist, Ace himself is at naval headquarters. The Whitebeard pirates should have received the news a long time ago, and it is unlikely to attack Impel down directly. Aokiji can directly freeze the sea, which shows that the situation is unusual. So, who exactly is he? And with a charming figure, the corners of Empress Boa Hancock's mouth evoked a subtle and beautiful arc. That adult, it seems that he has already taken action. Samaro curled up his huge snake body and spat out snake messages, seemingly responding to Hancock. Shiki, that, under the execution platform, Marine Marshal Sengoku's face turned dark, and his fists clenched loudly, this is the right time to cause trouble. Wouldn't it be enough to just become a legend? Impel down there, we have lost contact. Suru Vice Admiral's face was solemn and a little heavy, and he said, I just received the report that Magellan's life was burned to ashes. With Shiki's ability, this can indeed be achieved. His ability, to a certain extent, can suppress Magellan's ability. But thinking about previous reports that even the unshakable door of justice that had stood for 800 years was destroyed, it is really disturbing. On the world government side, Cypherpole is also preparing to prevent the dragon-slaying samurai from causing trouble. Frowning tightly, Sengoku said in a deep voice, the current situation is very complicated, Pluton Rayleigh there is a high probability that the Red Hair Pirates will appear, and the current combat power on our side can no longer be mobilized at will. With Garp's strength, even if something unexpected happens, I believe it will be more than enough to protect ourselves. With Garp's strength, even if he is besieged by Golden Lion and other strong men and falls into a crisis, I believe he will not be defeated easily. And as a non-ability person, he can break into the sea directly. Is it possible that the other party can continue to pursue it? Where can there be so many strong men of pure physical skills in this sea? Most of the monsters with names are demon fruit power. But at this moment, the top of the red line, the holy place Mariajoy, represents the highest authority in the world government. What? Impel Down was attacked, and it is said that the unshakable door of justice has been destroyed for 800 years. Golden Lion Shaki. How could he destroy the gate of justice? Are you kidding me? The five elders listened to the report of a tall figure in a suit, a cloak, and a white mask in front of them. They all couldn't help but feel a little frightened and angry, and even more confused. The shock at the destruction of the gate of justice is far greater than the disbelief at the invasion of Impel Down. With Golden Lion Shaki alone, how could it be possible to destroy the gate of justice that was infiltrated with sea stone material when BFEG Lion Fruit's ability didn't work on it? Is it that it's broken? But the next moment, the long whitebeard five elders, who was pacing back and forth with a gloomy face, thought of something, and his expression changed drastically. The other five elders also remembered something. Hugh Oren stood up in shock. His complexion was dark and extremely ugly. I actually ignored that woman. How careless. But how come he is with the golden lion who has disappeared for many years? Is it possible that we are worrying too much? I hope the situation is not what we think, otherwise we will be in trouble. No matter whether it is the worst situation or not, we must send people over immediately. It may not be too late to make amends. Impel down, eternal hell, in the dark and bloody passage. Although the criminals have become more peaceful, they are still a little noisy. However, Ryoma, Golden Lion and others ignored them. Quietly looking at the tall and majestic figure standing there, full of arrogance. Douglas Bullet was once a crew member of the Roger Pirates. He had monster powers and was known as the descendant of the devil. Waiting for him to speak. Ha, huh, conditions, desires. Bullet's eyes were full of aggression and blazing fighting spirit. He stared at Ryoma in front of him and said with a sneer, I want to be the strongest in the world, can you give it to me? The strongest in the world. Rob Lucci, Hawkins and others couldn't help but shrink their pupils when they heard this. Medusa, Golden Lion Shaki, Red Earl Ryder, Blackbeard, and Shiryu of the Rain all sneered. The eyes looking at Bullet were full of sarcasm. Becoming the strongest in the world cannot be achieved by a mere foolhardy man shouting a few hypnosis slogans hysterically with his passion. Otherwise they would have been the strongest in the world. Cannot. Ryoma seemed not surprised and responded calmly. 
but in the next moment, Bullet sneered disdainfully. The terrifying figure of Shimotsuki Ryoma suddenly flashed in front of Bullet like lightning. Boom, between the electric light and flint. His right hand was already pressed. Because he had been detained in prison for too long, his physical fitness had declined a lot. Bullet, who was unable to react at all for a moment, violently smashed his head through the wall that had been cracked by his previous conqueror's hockey. Smoke and dust filled the air, and the entire eternal hell shook violently. I saw that Bullet's entire life was embedded in extremely thick walls made of reinforced concrete. Drenched with blood, with crazy eyes, he stared at the dragon and horse in front of him. Full of unyielding and unyielding. Strangely, the walls around him started to flow like a blue fluid. To directly submerge his entire body. The strongest in the world. It's a pity that you can't do it. Ryoma's indifferent and domineering voice clearly reached the ears of Bullet, who had just revealed a crazy expression and was determined to fight with all his strength, but following the strongest man in the world, you may have a chance to see the people from high up. Scenery, if you follow this road, you might even see the hope of getting stronger, it might be the right choice. What do you think, Douglas Bullet? At least, before the ability of Paramecia and the fusion fruit awakens, I advise you to clear up the gap between you and me. You, the king, are not even qualified to challenge me. A pair of eyes as sharp as a blade, indestructible, seemed to pierce directly into his soul. Bullet's pupils dilated and he couldn't help but tremble. Two huge islands, just floating high in the sky. But I don't know when. The sea below froze at a rate visible to the naked eye. Even the warships that were responsible for guarding the waters around Impel Down were frozen. What happened, Gulu? Is the sea frozen? This is Kuzan Admiral's ability. Great, naval headquarters is starting to send reinforcements. This sudden change. Undoubtedly, those marines who were helpless to deal with Impel Down, a deep sea prison high in the sky, could only watch there, and some panicked marines couldn't help but be overjoyed. Because, Admiral of Headquarters Aokiji's Logia frozen fruit ability is too easy to recognize. In their knowledge, the only strong person on the sea who can directly freeze the sea surface is Kuzan Admiral. Over time, impel down. From the freezing hell on the fifth level, to the scorching hell on the fourth level, to the starvation hell on the third level, to the wild beast hell on the second level, to the red lotus hell on the first level. Those who committed various crimes and were imprisoned, the most heinous criminals were released directly. Great, finally saved. It's incredible. I didn't expect that the legendary, dragon-slaying warrior, would actually come back from the dead. And Golden Lion Shaki, Red Earl Rider, Devil's Descendant Douglas Bullet. Gulu, they are all legendary pirates. He is indeed a legendary dragon-slaying samurai. Even these famous pirates are willing to take the lead. Even the former guard of Impel Down, Changame Shiryu, has joined them. Haha, ha, I thought I was going to die in this hellish place, but I didn't expect that I would be saved one day. I'm so lucky to meet so many legendary figures. Thank you so much, Ryoma-sama. We are willing to follow you for the rest of our lives. Please lead us to conquer the world. On the first floor of Impel Down, in the extremely spacious hall. A criminal with a fierce appearance was holding the weapons they had snatched from the hands of the jailers and jailer beasts, and they were shouting. His eyes were fiery, full of admiration and admiration, and he looked at the tall silver white figure above with great fanaticism, dragon slaying samurai, Shimotsuki Ryoma. The momentum was huge, overwhelming, and quite imposing. If you pick these people out individually, although they are not very eye catching, they are all criminals with a bounty of more than tens of millions. Nearly 10,000 such prisoners obviously add up to a considerable force. Especially the criminals on the 5th and 6th floors, although their number is relatively small, they are all strong men with bounties worth hundreds of millions. But in terms of lineup, the quality and quantity of the strong ones have far exceeded those of the four emperors pirate group in New World. As long as they are given enough time to recuperate, most of their bodies that have declined to varying degrees due to being imprisoned, hungry, beaten, and cold all year round can regain their former fighting strength. These rebellious criminals can only be completely intimidated by the dragon-slaying samurai, Shimotsuki Ryoma, who directly conquered, Golden Lion, Shaki, Red Earl, Ryder, Devil's Descendant, Douglas Bullet and others. Only then can they truly surrender from the bottom of their hearts. Hey, the team has grown suddenly. 
Capone Beige bit his cigar and said with a chuckle. He also couldn't wait to witness how high that legendary man could reach next. What should we do with those weirdly dressed guys? Do we want to kill them? Shiryu of Rain looked at Ivankov and others with bloodthirsty eyes, and said with a sneer, Emporio Ivankov, a cadre of the Revolutionary Army, thought he was dead. Well, I didn't expect that he was still alive and hiding in the prison, and a large number of such prisoners gathered quietly. Having just obtained the ability of Paramisha Flash Fruit, he is a little eager to try it. No need, the revolutionary Long is on his way over. If nothing else, Marine and even the world government have sent people over. There is no need to conflict with the revolutionary army at the moment. Ryoma glanced at Ivankov and others who were alert and uneasy, and spoke calmly. Although he had previously entered the eternal hell on the sixth underground level of Impel Down directly from the surface level, his observation hockey had long enveloped the entire Impel Down. Naturally, I knew that these guys broke into the communication room and contacted the revolutionary Long. And as expected, that guy was already on his way over. Next, he still has to deal with the strong players in Marine and World Government. There is no need to break up with the revolutionary army prematurely over a devil fruit that is said to be good or bad. I saw the entrance of Impel Down at this moment. There was another group of people huddled there, watching Shimotsuki Ryoma and the others cautiously, dripping with cold sweat, as if they were facing a formidable enemy. It was Emporio Ivankov, the revolutionary army cadre, the ladyboy king, and the ladyboys whose genders were changed by his ability to use the hormone fruit. Many people were trembling there, their faces turned pale, and they were a little uneasy. Originally, they were hiding in the underground floors of the Impel Down prison. When they saw Ryoma and his men forcefully invading Impel Down, they even killed Magellan, the director of the prison. When they found the opportunity, they directly escaped to the ground floor with their own people, ready to jailbreak. As a result, Facing the hundreds of thousands of meters in the sky and the nest of the Sea Kings below, it has been frozen so solid that it resembles the sea on the ground. Even those who were originally scattered around Impel Down, those who were not frozen at this moment the marine warship was overturned by huge waves, and the marine personnel had begun to gather towards the ice. They were helpless and could only wait here. The only good thing is that they used the long-distance telephone bug in the communication room on the ground floor to contact the Revolutionary Army outside. Revolutionary Long, the commander of the Revolutionary Army who was originally in Sabayati Archipelago, had already rushed here as soon as possible. Gia ha ha ha, then send them down below, so that these neither male nor female freaks can be an eyesore here. Golden Lion Shaki laughed. The index finger and middle finger of the right hand are close together and slightly bent upward. Rumble. Ah, Golden Lion, what are you going to do? It's going to fall. Ms. Eva, help in the greatly changed eyes of Ivankov and others. The ground at the entrance shook violently, broke apart, and separated from the island. The next moment, it was like a power star that suddenly lost its support. A group of people, together with the ground beneath their feet, fell straight into the frozen sea below. If you fall to death like this, you can't blame lousy, Gia ha ha ha. Ah, golden lion. Wow, Lady Eva, think of a way. Lord Amazuna. A group of she-males in strange clothes were suspended on the impel down in the sky, and they continued to fall towards the frozen sea below, which must have been extremely solid. His face turned pale with fright, and tears flowed freely. Terrified, they subconsciously screamed for help towards the revolutionary army cadres who were also falling rapidly with them, the she-male King Ivankov with the Paramisha hormone fruit, and the Paramisha scissor fruit user Ima Zuna and others. Eva, the helpless Amazuna also looked at Eva anxiously. If this continues, even if the sea surface is frozen, there will be no Sea King's attack. They will also be smashed into pieces alive. Now that things have come to a point, we can only try with all our strength. Embryo facial growth hormone. Ivankov gritted his teeth, and on the fingertips of his pink gloved hands, fine needle-like nails sprouted, and they were stabbed directly into his ugly and scary face. Buzz. It seemed as if some special reagent was injected into his face. That ugly face actually swelled up at a speed visible to the naked eye. Become extremely huge. The fluffy purple hair looks like a giant rolling ball. Grab my face and hair. Ivankov, whose head became extremely exaggerated as he saw the sea getting closer and closer, shouted at the others. 
Yes, everyone grab Master Ivan's hair. Quick, don't let go, everyone. One after another, the panicked ladyboys, as if grasping the last straw in their lives, desperately grabbed Ivankov's hair and face. Following that huge round head, it fell rapidly downwards. B. On the ice below. The marine personnel who left the warship and boarded the ice were stunned one after another. Hell's eyes. Ivankov looked down at the ice getting closer and closer. The eyes, which also became huge, suddenly looked downwards and blinked hard. A violent blast of wind appeared out of thin air and hit the ice hard. Quote dot 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 quote. Crash. Ice shards flying. The thick ice surface exploded with huge air waves, which were turbulent. The force of the counter shock directly knocked Ivankov's huge head away. It dragged long scratches on the ice. Ah, a ladyboy in strange clothes fell to pieces. Saved. The embarrassed Amazuna, staggering away from Ivankov's exaggerated afro. Looking at the ice around him, he broke into a cold sweat. That huge face is unmistakable. It is Ivankov, a cadre of the Revolutionary Army. They are all criminals who impel down. A commodore from naval headquarters narrowed his eyes. After recognizing the identities of these criminals, he did not hesitate to order the marine personnel. Get them all, we must not let them escape before Admiral comes over. Thousands of meters in the air. Huge impel down above. Strange ability, actually survived. Looking at the group of revolutionary soldiers who fell to death below, Golden Lion Shaki laughed, a little surprised. You have no intention of letting them go. Gluttonous girl, Jewelry Bonnie complained angrily. Your allegiance. Ryoma ignored Ivankov's matter. He raised his right hand, and with his eyes that were as sharp as a blade, looking down at the prisoners who understood one after another and immediately fell silent, I, Shimotsky Ryoma, accept it. Oh oh oh, Lord Ryoma. These criminals had already been prepared, waiting, waving their weapons, and shouting enthusiastically and excitedly. The shouts are loud and murderous. Next, you don't need to be imprisoned for too long. You who are too weak will appear. Everyone enter the castle inside Capone Beige and seize the time to rest. Looking down at these fanatical criminals, Ryoma's voice was majestic, he said calmly, the food supply is sufficient, and medical needs are no problem, but those who dare to cause trouble, will be killed without mercy. Ah, thank you so much. How considerate of your subordinates. Lord Ryoma, we are willing to follow you for the rest of our lives. Some criminals who were tortured and humiliated here and had no human rights were extremely excited. Especially those in the Crimson Hell on the first underground level to the Blazing Hell on the fourth underground level. Their strength is neither higher nor lower, and most of them are far less determined than the criminals imprisoned in the fifth level Freezing Hell and the sixth level Eternal Hell. The prisoners even subconsciously over-interpreted Ryoma's words and were moved to tears. At this moment, he was filled with passion, as if he could die for Ryoma at any time. Even the criminals on the fifth and sixth floors were infected by the warm atmosphere. Looking at the majestic figure above, he was full of admiration and fanaticism, his blood was boiling, and he was shouting hysterically there. Humph, a bunch of idiots. Bullet, who had a bandage on his head and looked a little embarrassed, looked at him coldly, showing sarcasm. Golden Lion Shaki raised the corners of his mouth and smiled strangely. Don't say that, after all, we are all, partners. Do you really think Shimotsuki Ryoma is a kind person? It wasn't until they got to naval headquarters that these guys knew what hell was. What that man needs is the elite who have truly been tempered in blood and fire and survived, not the rabble who cannot hold up the wall. No, the former, dragon-slaying samurai. Shimotsuki Ryoma had such charm that he could make people risk their lives and be willing to go through life and death for him. Red Earl Redfield, who was watching quietly there, did not have any ridicule or disdain in his eyes, and said with inexplicable emotion, if I had not experienced so much when I was young, and was still full of enthusiasm, maybe I would see him again. When the time comes, we'll be willing to follow him to the death. When he was young, he was one of the admirers of Shimotsuki Ryoma, the world's greatest swordsman, and dragon-slaying samurai, who was full of heroic images in comic strips. Red Earl Ryder was very aware of Ryoma's influence on this sea. Got it. Especially swordsmen. For most of my childhood, I have probably seen or heard the legend about the dragon-slaying warrior who was once the world's greatest swordsman. Even if he doesn't bow to Shimotsuki Ryoma directly, 
he is willing to serve him to the death. The subconscious mind will also have a great fondness for him and long for having the other person's achievements in the future. Even next, those who admire their reputation and strength worship each other from the bottom of their hearts. There will definitely be a lot of people who are willing to work independently. This is the power of legend. I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.